Well, where the hell are we now? Joe, you noob, open your eyes. We're on Dare Reese. Everybody look at me, because I'm pissing on a zombie. What? Sorry, had to. Okay, well, what are we doing here exactly? Dr. Monty explained it all pretty clearly. There are alternate versions of ourselves we have to secure before they bring about the end of the world. Oh, right. Well, that sounds like a cakewalk. Wait, do you guys hear that? Who's there? Hold on a sec. Is that... Oh, my God. Donald, is that you? Who the hell are you three? Donald, uh, buddy, I missed you so much. Give me a hug. Keep your disgusting hands away from me. Hold on, Joe. That's not our Donald. Look how much younger he looks. What are you talking about? Just who the hell are you people? Hold on before we go any further. What are you doing in a secret Nazi facility? If you must know, I was taking a ride over Germany in my 757 when I spotted this remarkable piece of real estate. I had my pilot land nearby because I wanted to speak to the owner. I came across a couple German guys and a little girl. One of them pushed some button and the other German and the little girl disappeared. I definitely scared the other German guy when I said hello. I asked if the property was for sale and he said he was leaving and that I could have it. I mean, a property this size for free? Trump is going to become an international brand. Hey guys, I think Donald here met Edward Richthofen. You guys sure do seem to know a lot. I'll ask again, just who are you? Donald, this may seem hard to believe, but right now you are in a different universe than your own. What are you talking about, you clown? It's true. Tell us, has anything weird happened lately? Well, there was a storm that localized out of nowhere right in front of us when we were flying. We ended up going straight through it. Things did seem a little off after that. That must have been what brought you to this dimension. Donald, you have to come with us for the sake of the universe. I don't know you three, but there is a feeling of familiarity I get from being around you guys, though I'm certain we've never met. Please, Donald. We can explain later. We should get out of here. Let's just say there's a reason this place was free. I don't want to deal with more zombies if we don't have to. Did you say zombies? We'll explain later, but for now... What was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Turn around. Look, the teleporter door is opening. <laughs> Donald, I can't believe it. It's really you. What on earth? It's like looking in a mirror, but one that's cracked. Is this really supposed to be me? Uh, back when I was young, I was handsome as hell. But none of that matters now. For what it's worth, I am sorry, Donald. You're sorry? What do you mean you're- Ah! Sweet Mother Mary, there's blood all over me. Donald, what have you done? What I had to. But Monty said we have to secure the alternate versions of ourselves, not kill them. Yes, yeah, secure them inside the summoning key, which I picked up on the way here. Oh, and George, your dad says hi. Dad, you saw him? So wait, Monty lied to us? Not surprised at all. Well, if I'm remembering that six hour long zombies lore video on YouTube correctly, our souls can only be preserved after death. I think we have a pretty solid idea of how this is all gonna play out. Wow, I'm surprised you managed to stay awake that long, Joe. But yes, we have to kill our other selves. Of course, Monty wouldn't have told you guys that up front. Okay, so we need to get going then and find the next other one of us, right? Hold on, so what happened to the Earth that got blown up by Bill? I'm afraid that that universe and its inhabitants are doomed. Damn it, we couldn't save them after all. So my girls and Michelle really died in that universe. And all those Baskin Robbins. Well, the Clintons did get what they deserved, at least. Guys, I don't know about you all, but I hear more of those freak bags. <laughs> Shit. Here we go again. Can Dr. Monty go ahead and get us out of here? I'm not sure. If he was gonna do something, now would be the time to do it. Well, until then, everyone arm yourselves and get ready to fight off these undead fucks. Can't we go just one day without having to fight zombies? Oh, stop your bitching, Joe. This is our job now until we set the universe right. Get used to it. Shit, they're swarming us. Everyone in the teleporter. <laughs> Looks like we're at the mainframe, boys. And that's not all. That teleportation seems to have knocked out the power to the facility. We'll have to find the switch. Donald, I still can't believe you just killed the other you with such ease. 
Aren't you the least bit remorseful? Joe, you seem to have forgotten. I was the CEO of a global business. I destroyed people's hopes and dreams on a daily basis. That's cold, man. Anyways, let's be thankful this zombies map doesn't have some overly complex Easter egg for us to solve. That's true. Let's just hope Monty gets us out of here soon. So it is actually you, isn't it, Donnie? You're still not evil and trying to kill us, right? To be fair, Donald was evil before he got corrupted by the ether. Ah, oh, fuck off, Obama. I have been completely and totally exonerated from the ether's corruption. What was it like? I can't even imagine all of that power and knowledge. It was indescribable. The knowledge gained of all worlds still has taken a toll on me. I've seen things you wouldn't believe, learned secrets that must never be spoken. That's why Monty entrusted me with the summoning key. I walk a path no other can take. Geez, that's some heavy stuff. Anyways, buying this gun off the wall for extra firepower. Joe, did your new bass just buy the Shiva? That gun sucks. Well, it seems to be kicking ass to me. Yeah, because we just picked up an insta-kill. All right, well, I think we've got enough points. Let's open up the first door. I'll open it. Joe, you complete and utter failure of a specimen. Nobody opens that side of spawn. Well, sorry. How the hell was I supposed to know that? Don't worry, I'm opening the right side of spawn. And look, the mystery box is over here, too. Come on, Papa needs a Wonder Waff DG2. Fuck! This place sure is spooky. Well, I can only imagine what kind of twisted experiments went on here. Well, this is the birthplace of the Nazi zombies. Dr. Maxis and Richthofen and the rest of Group 935 unleashed a whole lot of evil onto the world by messing with teleportation and undead soldiers. That's horrible. The best thing that Dr. Maxis ever made was his cute-ass daughter. I really hope you're talking about the grown-up version from Cold War. I think we all know that's not what Joe means. She's in Cold War? Joe, please, just stop talking. Okay, guys, power is on. If we're to survive, we'll need to link the teleporters and open up Pack-A-Punch. Yeah, we know. We've all played plenty of Doris. Well, that was mainly for Joe. You're so mean, Donald. Oh, my God. I got my beloved XM-53. Time to blow these zombies to high heavens. Okay, you have fun with that, Obama. I'm gonna get the first teleporter room open. I'll initiate the link to the mainframe. Joe, go make yourself useful and link the teleporter. Linking the teleporter to the mainframe. Man, this map seems so fun. I don't remember seeing this on my copy of Black Ops 3, though, and I have every map pack. The Giant is a bonus map, Joe. You gotta buy it separately. And no, you can't use CP either. You gotta use real money. Well, duh, how am I gonna buy a map with pictures? I do have a terabyte's worth on my computer, though, so that would be nice. Uh, Joe, CP stands for COD points. Please tell me you aren't talking about what I think you are. Focus, guys, hellhounds are arriving. This is why I never had a dog at the White House. I mean, I can understand that. How many times did Joe's dog get in trouble for biting Secret Service agents or shitting on the carpet? Hey, Commander was a good boy. He just didn't like unfamiliar faces. Those Secret Service boys can be scary, but uh, just between us, all those accidents on the floor around the White House were for me when I forgot to wear my Depends. Thankfully, my dog took the blame. I fucking knew it. You were pulling that stunt even when I was president, because Bo was trained to use the bathroom outside. And Michelle always made me clean it up. Joe, you are something else, man. Shit, I'm down. I got you, Georgie. Up and at him. Thanks, Barack. Linking the final teleporter to the mainframe, we can now pack a punch our guns. That's great, since I got my beloved Baymaker. It'll tear these zombies to shreds. I mean, the Haymaker is pretty good, but I think the Brecci is way better. Also, just pap the RPK. You're a lying, dog-faced pony soldier if you think the Brecci is somehow better. Joe, what the fuck does that even mean? Besides, you're both wrong. Clearly, the Argus is the best shotgun. It's terrific, believe me. No other shotgun even comes close. Only winners like myself can handle the Argus's raw strength. Can you all stop with the petty squabbles? It doesn't matter. Every gun is OP in Black Ops 3 with alternate ammo types like dead wire. Also, the KRM is clearly the best shotgun. What? Yeah, I call malarkey on that, George. That gun's garbage. Joe, you were just using the Shiva a while ago. You're both just so wrong. I can't believe you, George. The KRM is clearly the shotgun for neocon losers. Well, you know what I think? All of you are a bunch of 
That's quite enough, gentlemen. Dr. Minty, is that you? It's Monty, Joe. Get it right. Anyways, how are you gents doing? I hope the collection of Donald's soul went smoothly. Yeah, as smooth as shooting one's self in the head can go. Why didn't you tell us we would have to waste these alternate versions of ourselves? Well, preferably you wouldn't have had to. But at this point, they've been away from their home dimensions for so long that simply returning back to their dimensions is impossible. Trust me, their souls will be much safer inside the summoning key. And eventually, here in my perfect world. Well, that begs the question, what about us? We've been dimension hopping for God knows how long now. Will we be able to return home? Yes, of course. Once this is all said and done, you all will return home. You see, you four are different. You are the chosen presidential Zomboys. This mission is one you four alone can undertake. You are special. Well, I could have told you that. I am a shining star among humanity. Nobody's better than me, believe me. The name Trump is synonymous with fame and success. From real estate developer to CEO of the Trump Organization to reality television star to president and then ruler of the ether, is there anything I can't do? Okay, dial it back a bit, Carrot Top. So, Monty, can you get us out of here now? We've secured Donald's soul. I'd love to, I really would, but I'm all tapped out at the moment. You see, I've been keeping a close eye on Dimension Numero Uno. If you'll recall, you all are from the second dimension to be created. The multiverse at large spiraled from U4's world. But for some unexplainable reason, there has been an otherworldly anomaly detected in the original dimension. And right now, my powers are concentrated on getting to the bottom of it. I'm hoping it's just a stray bug that somehow fell into a wormhole or some shit like that. But until then, you four are on your own. Great, so what are we supposed to do then? Get eaten by zombies? There is a way for you all to escape that hell hole. I think you four know of it as the fly trap. This mysterious Nazi structure acts as a sort of waypoint between your location and another. Activating it can allow my assistant here to find out where and when you are, calibrate one of the teleporters nearby, and with enough energy, you can overload it for long-distance teleportation to your next destination. Hold up. Did you say assistant? I didn't see anyone else when I was at the house. He's a new addition. You'll meet him soon. Just get to work, boys. Well, we know all about how to activate the fly trap as OG veterans of Derisa during World at War. Oh, hey, a big glowing button. Did someone do the Easter egg to get the sixth perk on here? Yeah, I did it earlier. Just throw monkeys into each of the teleporters before using them. Simple stuff. Well, thank God we got stamen up and not Deadshot Dickery. I mean, Obama isn't running faster, just an inherent passive buff that your kind is born with. Jesus, Donald, chill with the racism. So, uh, uh, where's PhD on this map? I got the ray gun and don't want to down myself. Joe, you dumbass, the only PhD on here is my pretty huge dick. Damn, he got your ass good. But guys, everyone group up so we can activate the fly trap. Ah, spooky floating objects. I want to play a game. Let's play hide and seek. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Bill Clinton. But how can this be possible? I thought Monty destroyed him. I reshaped Bill's soul into something useful. I seriously thought we were done with this creep. Yay, you found him. Also, fuck you, Donald. What about Hillary? Did you bring her back too? Heavens no. Her soul is damned to eternal suffering. And don't worry, this Bill won't cause us any problems either. He's essentially my puppet with no real mind of his own. Well, that's fucking dark. Just shot the second object. Wow, you found another one. There must be a purpose to this. Just one more object to find. I believe it's near the power room up on a ledge outside the map. And oh shit, your boy finally got the Wunderwaffe DG2. I'm gonna make these undead flesh sores fry. There we go. The final object has been shot. I see it. The beacon is lit. I know where and when you are. I will begin to make adjustments to one of the nearby teleporters. The one closest to the catwalk will do. I will let you know when it is complete. Then you must find a way to overload it with power. The coordinates are set for your next destination. 
Hope you guys are suckers for medieval castles. Oh shit, I know exactly where we're going then. And Bill, I must tell you, that beacon isn't the only thing that's lit right now. Barack, what the hell, man? Where did you even get a blunt at? Oh, this is my good luck premium Obama kush. Been saving it. Now's as good a time as any to smoke it. Winners don't do drugs, Barry. You should know that. I mean, look at me. I've never smoked or drank, and I'm the very definition of success. Well, I actually won my re-election, Donald. Just saying. Listen, Barry, I know you and your wife turned the White House into the crack house, but getting illegal votes as you Democrats like to do doesn't count as winning. Hey, attack Heisenberg over here all you want, Donald, but Michelle is a stand-up woman. She's my bestie for real. Thank you for saying that, George. You always have been good to my family and I. Michael, I mean, Michelle likes you a lot. Okay, we get it. George is cucking you, Barack. Now everyone come to the catwalk for some classic camping. Wow, Joe actually giving a good idea. I'm utterly shocked. Well, as Tank Dempsey said on Keynote or Toten, even a blind squirrel is right twice a day. Only replace blind squirrel with senile old fuck. Don't forget sleepy, Barack. Joe, wake the fuck up. Huh? Where am I? How do you fall asleep when we're being swarmed by hordes of zombies, Joe? Quit arguing, you four. I swear you all are like a group of brothers who do nothing but bicker at each other. I mean, I do consider these guys my brothers. Yeah, I love you too, George. Anyways, you figured everything out, Bill? This catwalk strat is only viable for so long. Indeed, I have. Everything is good to go on my end. The only thing you all have to do is provide the teleporter with enough power. Well, how the hell do we do that? You guys are smart. You'll figure something out. And here I thought the giant was supposed to be simple. Guess we better put on our thinking caps. All right, we'll do. What? Where did you? You know what? Never mind. Wouldn't expect someone like you to understand what a figure of speech is? Wait, I got an idea. Maybe the electric trap can provide electricity to the nearby teleporter. Supercharging it. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard, Joe. Just don't pull it till we're all on the other side so we don't... Ah! Watch out, there's a crawler! Ah! Ooh, that was close. That crawler almost got you. Good thing your buddy Joe saved the day. Joe, stay far, far away from me. I'm gonna die if I hang around you anymore. So, uh, did it work? I'm afraid not. The teleporter still needs more energy. So I got shocked nearly to death for no reason? Damn you, Joe! Well, we better figure something out quick because they've nearly got us surrounded. Guys, I think we should teleport like right now. Oh shit, Wonder Waffle, please save us. That's it. The DG2 has overloaded the teleporter. Activate it now. I think I'm gonna puke. Don't go getting sick on us, Barry. Yeah, we have a job to do. Bill wasn't kidding. We really are at one of the best zombies maps ever made. Ooh, I know this one. This is Darice, right? Joe, you numbskull. We were just at Darice. I thought we were at the giant. Joe, Darice means the giant in German. Oh, then where the hell are we? Welcome, friends, to the Eisendrache, the Iron Dragon. Homie really just hit us with the Mr. Raffle Waffles pronunciation. I had to be accurate, you know? Trying to brush up on my German, you see. Anyways, you're still deep in enemy territory. Lots of dangers lurking about. Your mission is clear, though. Bring the other George down to the Earth. So I'm up, huh? Let's get to work then, fellas. Someone sure is eager to kill their other self. I recognize the necessity of this mission, but I will take no pleasure in it. I assume you four know what you're doing, right? Well, three of us do. Joe is about to get carried hard. Hey. Anyways, you all remember that otherworldly presence I felt before? Well, it's growing in size, so I really must get to the bottom of it. I fear my perfect universe is in jeopardy. Did you say jeopardy? I love that show. Rest in peace, Pat Sajak. Joe, just stop talking. Monty, what's the big deal if this first universe goes down? I mean, I'm sure dimensions collapse all the time with as vast as the multiverse is. You'd be right, Obama. However, every other universe in existence is just a variant of another. 
The multiverse is infinitely huge. The first universe carries a lot of importance, though. Seeing as how you 4s world is derived from it, if it is destroyed, then so is yours and every other universe. It's that big of a deal. But all of this is way above you 4s pay grade. I'll deal with it myself, don't worry. Okay, none of that made sense to me, but guys, let's bring George home. Yeah, enough small talk. Here come more of those undead maggot addicts. Here we are. Would it be possible to end up somewhere where it's not snowing for a change? I'm not exactly dressed for the cold. It could be worse, Joe. Imagine if we were in the blistering heat wearing our suits. Yeah, I think there are, are more pressing issues to complain about than the weather, like the never-ending hordes of zombies, or Donald's awful haircut. You're just mad I actually have a full head of luscious blonde hair, Barack. You think that wet raccoon on your head that you call hair is beautiful? Guys, don't make me have to say my catchphrase. Yeah, yeah, we know. Something about petty squabbling. Anyways, just called the gondola. Hopefully we get a free ray gun or something. Nope, just a double points. Useless. I mean, I'm a billionaire for crying out loud. Donald, your purported net worth of billions means nothing in this situation. We'll need all the points we can get. Yeah, Donnie is definitely full of malarkey when he says he's worth billions. Fake news. All right, well, we should get a move on. Lots of work we got to do to get George's other self down to earth. All right, well, I just picked up one of those kaboom things, uh, and now would be a good time to go. You know, why is George's alternate self in a capsule orbiting the Earth right now anyways? It is a mystery for sure. Maybe we'll find the answers one day. For whatever reason, Ultimus and Primus aren't in this reality, or at least not experiencing the events that we know. Instead, we're the ones who must undergo this journey. Well, I've been writing about it in my diary. I never want to forget what we've been through. Joe, you're a grown-ass man. Why do you still have a diary? Leave him alone. I mean, why do you have 91 criminal indictments, Donald? Sorry, Hussein. Couldn't hear you over the sound of me getting the ray gun. Now let's feed this first dragon. Did you say d dragon? Whoa! Mommy, help. It's going to eat me. Chill, Joe. It's stuck to the wall. They function identically to the wolf heads from Mob and Blood of the Dead. Those are nothing like the dragons I saw as a kid. You saw dragons as a kid? What the fuck are you talking about, Joe? Well, yeah, when I was six years old, I was visited by a magic dragon named Jerry. He flew straight through my window and told me that I'd embark on a great quest. He was a vivid shade of pink with green polka dots, very cute compared to this beast before us. Anyways, I hopped on Jerry's back and we flew to the faraway land of Catabazala. There I met Princess Viola Periwinkle, and her army of frog people. And she had me and Jerry go to the tower of the evil Lord Solomon. Solomon was a worthy adversary. He sent all sorts of vile minions and magic missiles towards us. Jerry distracted him as I snuck around and destroyed the orb that was the source of his power, ending his evil reign. The fight was not without consequence, though. Jerry had been mortally wounded, and I lost my best friend of five minutes, just like that. I wept and wept for God knows how long, promising to never forget my dr draconian pal. Princess Periwinkle thanked me for my service and sent me home. I never will forget my adventure and my friend Jerry. And let me guess, after that you woke up. I mean, seriously, Joe, the stories you tell sometimes. Well, enough of Joe's insane ramblings. The first dragon has been fed. Let's find the next one. Keep an eye out for shield pieces, too, while we're at it. All right, let's make our way into the castle. Hold on a second. I'd recognize the scent of a child's shoulders anywhere. This must be cute little Samantha's room. Joe, after the whole Dark Brandon situation, I thought you wanted to clear your name of the creep allegations. Joe can't help who he is. We already explained to him that sniffing children's shoulders is bad, so hopefully he stops. Let's head to the power room instead of sitting in a little girl's bedroom, though. I concur. I'm not trying to catch another charge. All right, power is on. It's been a while since I've done this Easter egg. Do you guys remember every step? Pretty much, it's not that difficult. That reminds me, I call the storm bow. Now, hold on, Donnie. You can't just call the storm bow. This isn't like when we play the game and you pull that host gets storm bow nonsense. It'll be first come, first serve. Well, as long as we all agree that Joe gets the wolf bow. Well, what's so bad about the wolf bow? Wolves are cool as heck. 
It's not bad per se, it's just not as good as the others and is easy for a total noob like you to build. Well, as long as I get to use one of these wonder weapons, I'll be happy. Uh, I think the last time I got one was that awesome baby gun in that jungle. Yeah, which your dumbass got rid of for the M14, may I remind you. Good times. Anyways, I'm gonna go help feed the dragon in the Undercroft. This place looks like an ancient ritual site of some sort. Seems like this group 593 or whatever was messing with forces beyond their understanding. Messing with forces beyond their understanding perfectly describes you trying to operate something like a computer, Joe, you geriatric fuck, and it's group 935. Just activated the low gravity. Gonna look for the shield part. What the? Yippee, I'm flying. Joe, you're not flying. It's just low gravity and it's on a timer, so be careful not to fall and hurt yourself. What the, who said that, that was not Dr. Groff? Wait a second, that voice, Mitch McConnell? President Trump, is that you? What are you doing here and not at the White House? That's not important right now. What are you doing on a Nazi lunar facility? You're the one who sent me here to enact our plan to establish American superiority across the globe. The stuff we have learned up here is astounding. Using the research we gained from Group 935 documents, we will make America the only global superpower. But what are you doing in the company of our Democrat enemies? Uh, don't mind them. Everything is under control. Keep doing what you're doing. I'll handle everything down here. There's been a bit of a zombie outbreak, you see. Okay. I have my suspicions, but you've proven me wrong many times, Donald. I'll go forward with Operation Shield. Well, that was unexpected. So in this dimension, Trump is still president, and he's plotting something huge. I wonder... If this is the same Trump who sent Mike and Kamala to look for missing votes during Shangri-La, we should make sure not to let Mitch catch on to us. Sounds to me like he's just putting America first. Anyways, how many zombies does this dragon need to eat? He should be done by now. Not sure, but when you're done, come help me and Joe feed the last one. All righty, dragon number two is done. Headed your way, gents. God, there's something so satisfying about popping zombie skulls. I don't think I can go back to just playing zombies after this is all said and done. I see your point, Joe. I mean, using all this incredible and magical weaponry, getting to use Perca-Colas, visiting all these incredible locations, despite the magnitude of our mission, it is pretty astounding. You better chill with the gun control nonsense when we get back then, you two. After this, we can all appreciate how fun guns are. Not a chance. There's a big difference between using them to slay zombies and using them to commit murders. Well, let's not debate political policy. The last dragon has returned to stone. Now what? Time to go grab the wrath of the ancients. The security feeds are somewhat alarming. What on earth is going on down there? Sounds like McConnell's suspicions are rising. We should hurry up before he realizes what we're up to. Man, I feel like Legolas with this awesome bow and arrow. Well, you look more like Gollum, Joe. Let me guess, you guys are talking about that nerdy Harry Potter stuff? Lord of the Rings, actually, George. Same thing. It's all a bunch of stuff for virgins who like to dress up as elves and dwarves and sit in their parents' basement. Clearly you've never seen a beautiful elf girl. I mean, I know you're an anime hater, George, but Amelia from ReZero? Absolute baddie. Okay, so you have a hard-on for fictional women. Got it. You're starting to sound like Joe now, Donald. Anyways, I just grabbed the Storm Bow Arrow. Damn it. Now which bow am I supposed to get? I don't know, but I just picked up a purple arrow. This feels important. What is this, guys? Joe, you dumbass! You were supposed to grab the wolf bow arrow. Barack, you better not take the fire arrow. No way am I taking the wolf bow. Well, that is unfortunate, Donald, because I just grabbed the fire bow arrow. Don't worry, the wolf bow isn't that bad. No! I hate the wolf bow. Now I gotta look for these stupid paintings. So, uh, how do I build this void bow? We are so fucked. Don't worry, Joe, we'll help you. First, you gotta find six little keeper skulls around the map. Uh, all right, I'll keep an eye out. This painting is just like what I saw at Morgue City. I wonder how the other three presidents are doing. I can't believe they actually escaped that hell. Rest in peace, Kennedy. I don't know what you're going on about, Donald, but let's hope I can remember how to do this fire bow. Fucking Noah J456 never made a tutorial. Maybe I should have picked the fire bow because I'm hitting these arrow shots like a pro. I could certainly shoot those circles while using the Wonder Spheres. Just call me FaZe Bush. I think FaZe Towers is a better name. Hey, a hole just opened in the floor and there's a weird purple vase. Oh right, forgot to mention that step. Now you can start looking for the Keeper Skulls. 
this painting. Hunter, as much as I loathe you, I wish you could have had a better fate. Donald, did you just mention? Oh, no. I must be hearing things. All right, I do know I got to teleport to the rocket to start my bow. Anyone who needs to come, hurry up. Okay, just grab my arrow. Let's get a move on. Pretty sure I have to shoot a flag or something. Also, let's remember to grab the piece for the Ragnarok. I'm still trying to find these damn skulls. I swear all the zombies are coming after me, though. Once the rocket test goes off, I'll flip the switch and grab the rag piece. Just grab the wolf's skull. I can't believe I'm being forced to make this awful wonder weapon. Can you imagine if we had cell phone service here? I can already picture Trump going on an insane truth social rant. Der Eisendrache is rigged. The globalists and rhinos have forced me to take the wolf bow. It's not my fault I'm constantly the target of political witch hunts. Okay, whatever you say, Donnie. About to grab this Ragnarok piece, then try and shoot the stone for my bow. I'm making good progress on mine. Joe, found any of those skulls yet? Uh, nope. Sounds like Joe should be looking for a brain instead. Wait, Donald, do you have blood wolf bite? I thought that was a Black Ops 4 perk. Joe, just no. Don't ever bring up that god-awful perker game again. I can't wait to be done with this place. I swear each new adventure makes me 10 years older. We gotta kill my other self pronto. Don't you feel the least bit saddened that we have to end a life? Your life to be specific? I'm just looking out for us. I know what's required of me. Moping around won't change what needs to be done. There are plenty of other Georges out there in the multiverse. As long as I'm one of the living ones, I'm fine. It changes you, George, whether you think so or not. I only handled it so well because I was prepped by Dr. Monty. And through my time controlling the ether, I gained the knowledge and wisdom that has allowed me to do whatever is necessary to save every known and unknown universe. Sounds like a lot of meaningless drivel coming from you, Donald. I too have the willpower to do what needs to be done. I mean, hell, I picked Dick Cheney as my VP. I know all about making sacrifices. Don't say I didn't warn you, George. Hey, I found one of these skull thingies. Well, it's about goddamn time. Bullseye. Ditto Barack just sniped the fuck out of the bonfire. Now what is this doing in little Sammy Whammy's toy box? This is not something to play with. Looks like we're all finally progressing on our bows. Then the real quest will begin. Mr. President, I am observing your current actions through the security feeds, and I must admit to being alarmed. Just what are you up to, Mr. President? Mr. President, answer me. We're running out of time before our ruse is up, and the zombies are getting stronger. Let's get these bows upgraded, fellas. I'm on the last little jar before I have to fill the bow with souls. Should have mine done shortly. Still collecting souls for this mutt. Ah! The panzer's on me. Well, just remember to get the Ragnarok piece from him when you kill him. I'm more worried about him killing me. Well, that sounds scary. Glad I'm not the one he's after. By the way, I think I almost have all of the skulls collected. Well, that's good, Joe. I just finished shooting the last bonfire with the electrified arrow. Now just got to get kills in the Undercroft, and the storm bow will be mine. Phew, he's finally dead, and we got the Ragnarok piece. Just one more to go. OK, well, I finally got all the skulls. Now what? Broken souls must be sacrificed in my honor. Who said that? Joey, if you hear a creepy demon voice talking to you, it's normal. It's part of the Void Bow Quest. Oh, thank goodness I was scared the voices that have haunted my dream since childhood were back. But since that's not the case, just what do I need to do? It said something about broken souls. You need to bring six crawlers into that room to feed it. While Joe does that, I'll finish feeding souls to these flaming circles. Almost done escorting this wolf. I'm mere seconds away from getting the storm bow. Just got to get a few more kills. OK, got the crawlers. Eat up, Mr. Demon Voice. Griffin, Stag, Hart, Biden, they know my name. Wait, did he just say? The vase should have said three different words. 
To learn the demon's name, you must find the three statues in the castle that correlate with the words he said. They will reveal three symbols. The symbols will begin to be dropped by zombies. You then have to shoot the correct three symbols with the bow in the vase room. Think you can remember all that sleepy? Yeah, but I swore he said, no, never mind. I'm just imagining things. Well, that's nothing new. Also, I just grabbed the storm bow. God, this thing is wicked. It should have been mine, not yours, George. I did just grab my upgraded arrow, so I almost have this shitty wolf bow. No wonder this wolf king is dead. He was using the worst bow in the map. Donald, I swear, all you do is bitch and moan about everything. I mean, at least yours was easy to build. I'm having to do all sorts of crazy shit for this fire bow. Well, you're nearly done, Barack. Just gotta get to the fireplace in a limited number of shots. After you two get your upgraded bows, we can move on to the wisp step. All right, I wanna know who the hell built the shield in the church. Everyone knows the Undercroft is the best place to build it. Whoops, my bad, Donnie. Don't even know why you ask. Joe is usually wrong about a lot of things, like when he thought going after bin Laden was a bad idea. No, I thought the reason you wanted to go after him was the bad idea. You were mad because he broke up with you. Okay, I really don't want to think about Obama and Osama in a relationship. Joe, please tell me you're making progress. Well, I found these statues you were talking about. I just got to wait for the symbols to drop from the zombies. I swore the scary voice said that I knew his name too, though. Don't be ridiculous, Joe. Did you remember to take your dementia pills today? Of course I did. Also, I got all the symbols now to find out this demon's name. What is my name? Uh, I'd like to know, too. Go on, Pop. That is my name. Wait, what? Corn Pop, my old friend, is it really you? Joseph, I am sorry for everything that happened between us. I never meant to hurt you. No, uh, I'm sorry. I never forgave you after the whole incident at the pool. I told everyone for years that you were a bad dude when that couldn't be further from the truth. I should have known that one day you'd be haunting me as well. I never stopped caring about you. Nor did I, you. Allow me to grant one final gift to you. The power of the void will help you see this battle through to the end. I love you, Joseph, and I will always be watching. Corn Pop, you really were a great dude. Thank you, old friend. Well, I didn't see that coming. Are you okay, Joe? I'll be fine, Barry. I have to be for everyone who's counting on us to succeed. That's the spirit, Joe. I just can't believe Corn Pop was actually a real person. How he ended up here, though, we may never know. Probably not. But before I finish upgrading my bow, I'm going to shoot the balls on top of the teleporter with the Wrath of the Ancients, so we can start the Wisp step. Way to make yourself useful, Obama. Unlike how you handled foreign policy in the Middle East. I got my Void Bow. Thank you for this power, Corn Pop. Getting my kills for the Fire Bow. And Joe, did I see you with the Papped MR6? Smart thinking, those are really useful against the Keeper boss. Papa Panzer is back. He's no match for us and our upgraded bows, though. After I dispatch him, we can start the wisp step and go back in time. I wish I could permanently rewind the clock. Getting old sucks. I feel that. I may not be as old as you three, but I'm finally starting to feel time's cruel effects. And I don't think dimension hopping and time traveling is making things better. Probably not. Anyways, now that we all have our upgraded bows, let's get to looking for those wisps. I can only assume that you intend to procure Group 935's research own twisted goal of overthrowing the government, Donald. Mark my words, old friend. I will do everything I can to. Uh, is he okay? I think he's having another freezing episode. I, I don't know if it's a stroke or what. But you all remember when this happened during a couple of his press conferences? Where am I? You were about to tell us how you'd stop us from achieving our goal. Man, I think this old crow here is way worse off than you, Joe. I think we shot all the wisps. Everyone to the teleporter. All right, someone grab the canister and watch for the code that McConnell enters. 
Got the canister. What the hell is this blue stuff anyways? The progress made on our newly discovered lunar facility is going smoothly. The things we've learned are just incredible. I am convinced that the MPD will prove vital to turning America into the conservative capitalist utopia it was always meant to be. To hell with whatever Trump is planning, he will be out of the picture soon enough. Seems like Mitch here has his own agenda as well, but look, the code is circle diamond nipple. Nipple? That's how you describe that symbol? I always call it the letter D. Doesn't matter as long as we don't forget it. Let's fuck this Panzer's day up. Homie never stood a chance. Now everyone to the wonder sphere before the rocket test melts us. Whee! That was fun. I'm surprised you haven't puked yet, Obama, from all this bouncing around. I guess I'm just getting used to it. Now that's what I call character development. All right, time to enter the code so we can bring George's twin back down to Earth. Circle, diamond, nipple. All right, someone go grab the items from the safe by the teleporter. Got them. All right, I installed the fuses into the death ray and switched it to destroy. You guys protect me while I do, Simon says. Simon says, we don't have time for children's games, Donaldy. Besides, there aren't even any cute little kids around to play with. Joe, less being creepy and more shielding me from these maggot addicts. Rocket nipple circle lightning. Rocket. Rocket again. Rocket nipple. Rocket nipple circle lightning. Rocket. Rocket nipple. Rocket nipple circle. All right, first one's done. Someone else can do the next, Simon says, now that you've seen the master at work. I got it. And I don't need to do any of that. Saying the symbols out loud to remember. Bullshit either, because my brain actually works. And there we go. Time to bring George 2.0 home. You fools. I don't know what you were planning, but I believe that you, Donald, may in fact be an imposter. Imposter, you say? Here comes George's capsule. Dang, it went straight through the clock tower. That's the third tower that George W. Bush has taken down. I'm numb to 9-11 jokes at this point, but there he is, the other me. It's so strange, he looks just like me, but younger. Talk about an out-of-body experience. Well, now we gotta kill him. Oh, wow, okay, George, you really don't care, do you? Say, what's this little doohickey? That's the golden rod. And the same object that Donald gathered at Call of the Dead and we ended up using on the moon when it fused with the focusing stone. We'll be needing it here shortly. For now, we gotta go back in time once more and gather a stone tablet. Look for the wisps, people. First one was on the globe. Found the second one. Got one in the church on the radio. Next one is on the telephone in power. All right, everyone, head to the teleporter. I'll interact with the computer. Someone grab the tablet. Got it. My pockets are getting heavy from carrying all this stuff, though. Don't worry, Sleepy Joe. We'll be putting those objects in their rightful places soon. Let's head back to the castle. Place the golden rod here, Joe. Ah! A ghost! Joe, that's not a ghost, you dummy. It's a keeper spirit, and we have to make him whole again. Oh, well, how the hell do we do that? There's going to be these circles that correspond to our bows, and we have to get kills with them in our circle. We'll let you know when you're up, Joe. All right, looks like I'm up first. Everyone let me get most of the kills. I should be the one using that badass bow. It's so powerful. Can it, Donald? The Keeper is on the move. All right, Barack, it's your turn. Let them feel the burn. Feel the burn? Do I look like Bernie Sanders? Although that is a funny mental image, that old commie fighting zombies. Hmm, you don't even know, Barack. Not sure what your cryptic ass is muttering about Donald, but my circle is done. Let's move. Remember, a panzer is going to spawn during this one. 
It's yours, Donald. Put that wolf bow to work. God, this bow is so pathetic. Doesn't even have a good charge shot effect like your guys. Oh, shit. The Panzer Soldat is here. Let him have it. All right, he's dead, and Donald filled up the circle. On to the last one, which will be yours, Joe. Thank you, Corn Pop, for bestowing this awesome power to me. These zombies will never stand a chance. All right, the Keeper is whole again. We need to bring him to the MPD. Here we go. Do your thing, Keeper. Wait, where did he go? Oh, my God. The Keeper is retrieving the MPD for us. Attention all stations. The Keeper manifestation has breached the facility. The MPD is under threat. Now, what are you doing? Don't come any closer. Ah! All right, unfortunately, in the middle of violating Mitch, the Keeper has become corrupted. In order to use the MPD to charge the summoning key, we're going to have to deal with him first. We all know what to do. Everyone place their Ragnaroks on the anti-gravity squares around the pyramid. Uh, you mean like this? Where in the blue blazes are we now? Boss fight time, Joe. This Keeper is going to send all sorts of enemies at us. Skeletons, Keeper skulls, Panzers, and Hellhounds. Stay alert. As everyone but Joe knows, when the electricity appears below the Keeper, one of us will have to place down our rags. After that, shoot the fuck out of the glowing spot on his chest. Joe, your death and taxes will really come in handy here. Everyone watch each other's backs. We're all making it out of here alive. No man left behind. Watch out for his flaming rocks on the ground, too. There's those skulls you mentioned, George. They're like evil versions of my Void Bow ability. He's basically got all the abilities of our bows. Be careful. Oh shit, the lightning is there. Someone throw down your rags, quick. Putting mine down, be ready to shoot the fuck out of him. Eat explosive rounds, you old throttle bottom. I don't know what that means, Joe, but sure, let's roll with it. Fuck you, throttle bottom. All right, picked up my Ragnaroks. They're gonna take some time to recharge, so someone else put theirs down. Next. The Panzers are here. There's gonna be a shit ton of them. Keep your aim true, gentlemen. Come on, you big bastards. I dare you to mess with the very stable genius known as Donald J. Trump. Donald, usually smart people don't go around telling other people they're smart, just saying. You got to admit, though, Donald is one hell of a zombies nerd. His knowledge when it comes to doing Easter eggs and whatnot is invaluable. Don't stroke his ego too much, George. I think that's the last of the Panzers. Uh, I think that's that lightning you guys were talking about. Someone put down their thingies. I got it. Don't worry. Just be ready to shoot him. All right, one more good hit like that, and he should be dead. I feel kind of bad for this dude. He did help us steal the MPD from, from Mitch McConnell's grubby hands, only to get corrupted. God, I wish I had this bow in our world. Think of all the Middle Eastern civvies I could. Shut up, Barack, and be ready to shoot him. Take this, you keeper fuck. Did we do it? Damn right we did. Now to go power up the summoning key. You leave me no choice. I will have to take steps to ensure your termination, even if it means the destruction of the castle itself. What Bitch McConnell here doesn't know is that we hold the most powerful artifact in the known and unknown universes. It's almost time then. Guess we better shut off the containment field around George 2.0. How do we do that exactly? Come with us, Joe. You'll see. Goodbye, old crow Mitch McConnell. Take your neocon bullshit to the grave. Launch protocol initiated. Donald, what have you done? 30 seconds to impact. Oh my god. I know not why you have chosen this betrayal, Donald. But know this. You will never achieve your goals of being King of America. Democracy will prevail. King of America? You really think that's my plan, Mitch? Of course, I'm not your Donald Trump. So you are an imposter. Whatever your goal is, you will never succeed. Never! Holy shit, we just pulled a reverse moon. Yep, this map is heavily inspired by moon. The road ahead is long and dark. For now, we must complete our mission here. Look, he's still alive. After all we've gone through to get here, I fucking hope so. Now, there's only one thing to do. Stand back, gentlemen. Wait. If someone's got to take him out to save the universe, 
then it should be me who does it. It's almost like looking in a mirror, the other me. I tried so hard to pretend you didn't exist, that this was just a simple mission. But you do. You are me. You had your own hopes, your own dreams, your own family. And due to circumstances outside your control, all that has been taken away from you, my poor lonely twin. It's up to us to pick up the pieces, to rebuild this fractured multiverse. So nobody else has to suffer as you have. But even though you may be gone for what it was worth, it was good to see you, George. You did good, George. Now I will secure his soul inside the key. Dr. Monty, we're ready to leave this place. All right, boys, we may have a little situation on our hands. Secure the next soul as quickly as possible. I'll explain more when I can. Hands off, you're gonna mess up my perfect hair. Barack, why the hell are you smiling? Well, think about it, guys. This is just like in Breaking Bad, when Jesse got captured by the neo-Nazis. Geez, Barack, is everything just a Breaking Bad reference to you? This is serious shit. Quiet, you three, or you'll be executed on the spot. Oh, finally, someone who speaks English around here. Listen up, you better let us go, or else... I said silence, you American dog. Joe, have you no shame beating up an old man? Don't worry, Barack, I'm <laughs> mostly OK. Just do what they say. And just who the hell do you think you're calling an American dog anyways? Why I oughta... <clears throat> you bastards! Oh! My ribs. Donald, for the love of God, will you shut up, man? I'm sorry, I don't speak Japanese. Where and how did you become in possession of this? We'll never tell you. If you were smart and valued your lives, you'd give it back and let us be on our way. Don't want to talk, huh? We're sure we can break your friend. George, where have you taken him? He's long gone from here. I'm afraid you'll never see him again. That can't be true. George, we will find you. Dr. Monty, why won't you help us? Yes, sir. Be lucky you aren't with your George right now. Surely he will suffer a fate worse than death. You can't do this to us. We're presidents of the United States. A black man is president. What a desperate plea for your life. This might actually be it, boys. We failed our mission. The entire universe. What? Oh shit, a giant tidal wave is headed our way. What? I can't swim. Shit, every man for himself. That dude ran off with the summoning key. I think we have bigger problems to worry about, like this tidal wave. Joe, buddy, hold on to me. I won't let you drown. Also, fuck you. Yeah! Did you just push that dude overboard? Don't act like he didn't deserve it. Oh, shit. Big wave coming. Hold on. Ah! Oh, my God, Donald. You saved my life. Yeah, not losing you again, Joe. Glad you're okay. But where's Barry? Shit, you don't think he's... Don't finish that sentence. Barack, you gotta be here. Where are you, buddy? Ugh. Barack, you're alive, thank God. Given your complexion, I thought you'd have a hard time swimming to shore. Donald, can you not go 10 seconds without making things racist? Sure, as soon as the Democratic Party does with your identity politics bullshit. Guys, focus. Where the hell are we? Well, let's see. We were on a boat talking to some Japanese people. We crashed on a scary-looking island, and we're looking for another one of our souls. Call me crazy, but I think we're in Zetsubu, Noshima. Yay! We're exactly where we need to be, then. No, not yay. George is missing, and we lost the summoning key. Fuck, what should we do? Dr. Monty must be preoccupied with whatever bullshit he mentioned at the castle. <coughs> Hold on, there's a survivor. I'm alive. Isn't this the chump that stole the summoning key from us? I think you're right. Hey, you whippersnapper. What? 
Who's there? You three, the American prisoners. You survived? Damn right we did. Now where is our friend? Oh right, you're George. Unfortunately for us, we're close by. That's great news for us, Bozo. Yeah, we'll be going in as soon as you give us that artifact you stole from us back. No, this island, it's cursed. You can't go any further if you want to live. We know exactly what we're headed into. We're not as dumb as you think. Then you must be American spies. Whatever intel you have gathered on this place, it is much, much worse than that. Chill, homie, we're, we're not spies. Listen, take a deep breath. Hey, young man, uh, why don't you tell us your name? My name? We clearly got off on the wrong foot earlier. My name is Yamato. Yamato Fujihara. Yamato, do you still have the object from earlier? You cannot begin to comprehend how vital it is that we get it back. Here, I stored it in my bag. I don't want it or anything to do with this war anymore. I'll hold on to it. Well, feel free to kill me if you like. I won't put up a fight. Kill you? We aren't soldiers, man. Listen, Yamato, if you want to live another day, come with us. We know more than you think we do about this place. You're crazy if you think I'm stepping foot into that hell. I've heard stories about this island. The things that go on. Let's stop wasting time with this loser then. If he wants to die here, let him. Better than carrying around dead weight. Donald, you know we never turn a back on someone in need. Remember what happened with Pence? If we can save someone, we do it. Yamato, take this. We will survive this night, I promise. Thank you for your kindness. Fine, I will accompany you. Please tell me your names. My name's Barack Obama. Behind me is Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Okay, Obama son, Biden son, and Trump son. For now, we form a temporary alliance. Once we find your George, you three help me make my way to America. No promises. How about for now, we keep you alive? Yeah, we'll do our best to get you to America, Yamato, but for now, we need to focus. Joe's right, eyes up. Zombies headed our way. Yeah! Oh shit, I heard that Division 9 was experimenting with living dead, but I didn't believe it. It's true. We're seasoned zombie slayers, though. Just follow our lead. Let's just hope George can hold on a little longer. Hi. What the? Where the hell have you taken me? You dirty Japs, let me out of here. You're wasting your time. Who's there? I don't suppose you've been sent to rescue me? Not that it matters. You've been captured too by the sounds of it. I'll ask again, who are you? I can't see a thing with this damn blindfold. My name's not important. We'll both be dead soon anyways, or worse. I'm in the cell next to yours, though. What is this place? All I remember is being captured and taken away from my friends. From what I've gathered, it's a Japanese testing site and we're the guinea pigs. I've seen unimaginable horrors throughout my time here. Dear God, if this is where I think it is, then I'm in trouble. I hope the guys are still alive. Trust me, death is a mercy in this hell. They've been torturing me for so long. And with no sunlight, it's hard to tell how long I've been here. I gotta get out of here. Donald? Barack? Anybody? You're wasting your breath, and you're gonna need it for what they have in store. Shit, someone's coming. Ah, oh, if it isn't our newest test subject. Who's there? You better let me go this instant if you value your life. And a feisty one at that. It will be great fun getting you to spill the beans, as you Americans say. I won't tell you anything. Hell, even if I did, you wouldn't believe it. I've seen things your small mind could never comprehend. We'll see about that. Guard, escort our new guest to our new testing chamber. We'll see how long he lasts. No, stay away from me! Watch out. They are rising from the water. And from the barricades behind us. Keep your head on a swivel, everyone. hey -ah! I can't believe it. My first kill in this war. Well, technically, they're already dead. True, I suppose. Though I never wanted to fight, this time it is for my survival. You'll get used to it after a while. These undead bastards are relentless. It's either us or them. Obama-san, you said you three have encountered these creatures before. Just who are you people, really? And what is your goal? That is a very complicated thing to explain. It would blow your mind honestly. All you need to know about us 
is that we're fighting for a better future. And these zombies are just one of the many forces that have tried to stand in our way. I don't understand. But for now, I won't press you any further. Our survival and saving your friend is our main concern. Look here, a map of the island. It may prove useful in finding your friend. We already know our way around, Yamato. We don't need a stupid map. Well, I definitely do. I've never played Zetsubu before. Thanks for pointing it out, Yamato. Of course, Biden-san. But what do you mean you've never played Zetsubu before? Uh, just ignore Joe. He's a bit demented, you see. For now, let's delve deeper into this island of despair. The Altar of Skulls should be up ahead. What is this? A juggernaut? This looks like an American soda machine, but what is it doing here? The beverages you will find around this map are going to be vital to our survival, Yamato. There's a lot we'll have to explain over the course of this endeavor. Thankfully, Joe is just as clueless as you are. Hey, fuck you, Donald! And what is with these skulls that we have gathered? Surely, this is not a good idea, messing with remains? These skulls are required to perform four rituals, which will grant us access to a powerful weapon, the skull of Nan Sopwe. Nan Sopwe? The Thunder God? You are pulling my leg, right? It's true. His burial site is on this island. Didn't Division 9 brief you on this place at all? I am not a member of Division 9. I was merely assigned to support the prisoner transport to the island. I have heard about the experiments done here. Though the Japanese government has tried to pretend the crimes committed here are nothing but American propaganda. I don't believe it for a second, though. My goal is to defect to America and provide them with any and all information on the war crimes being committed. A noble goal, young man. Although America is not the greatest place to be right now. There are these awful camps that have been set up by President Roosevelt. If Japanese people have it rough, even American citizens. I don't care. I'll endure anything if it means escaping to the land of opportunity. I know this war won't last forever. Enough chit-chat, I'm starting the first ritual. Help defend the skull. On my way, I was looking at those strange pillars around the altar. Oh, the challenges, I almost forgot. If everyone looks at those pillars, there should be some writing etched into them with specific tasks each of us must perform. This is vital to unlocking the secrets of this island. Let's hope we get the easy ones. Not trying to waste a whole bunch of time on those challenges, George's life depends on it. It almost sounds like you three have been here before. In a manner of speaking. <coughs> Watch out for those spores nearly hacked up a lung. What is this strange glowing box? Incredible! It gave me a gun! I've never seen such a weapon! Yeah, there's no sugarcoating it. That box is straight-up magic, bringing in weapons from across time. Hey, I picked up a bucket earlier. Is this helpful? Joe, I can't believe your wandering around aimlessly is actually helping. Yes, the bucket is going to be very useful. I'm sure you've picked up some seeds by now. The water around here is special and can be used to grow different types of plants. I happen to know a thing or two about botany. My grandfather let me tend to his garden when I was a child, to see how Division 9 has twisted the beauty of nature. It makes me sick to my stomach. Sounds like you'll be a real asset. When it comes to my family, Michelle is the one with the green thumb. She did such a great job with the White House Rose Garden before Trump's wife fucked it up. Screw you, Barry. Melania turned it from a ghetto trash heap to a stunning display of elegance. Oh shit, please don't tell me. What is the meaning of this? Scary spiders. I'm with you for once, Joe. These things are fucking horrifying. No, Robareta Kumo. Yeah, we need a flamethrower. Burn this whole damn island to the ground. Please don't wrap me up in your wicked webs and eat me for dinner. Shit, I'm trapped. Ah! Stay away, you creepy critter. I know we're dealing with these scary fucks, but I found a part for the gas mask. Ah, that's got the... I think that's the last of them. They dropped a max ammo. This is definitely some sort of sorcery at work. Let's get a move on, boys. We have lots of ground to cover, uh, and we still don't have any leads on where George is. Yeah, not to mention we have to find either your or my alternate self too, Joe. I know not what you're talking about, but from the looks of it, this laboratory is powered with water. Maybe you can put that bucket to use, Joe. I'll look around for some, uh, some water then. I know for some of my challenges, I have to get kills with the plane trap and the fan trap. So once the power is on, I'll get started on that. 
One of mine said something about destroying spiders with spores. Also, I found a bucket. I will help you with the power situation Biden signed. These challenges are definitely the most annoying part of getting to the secret basement of the Division 9 bunker. That's almost certainly where the alternate is being held, and if we're lucky, George, too. Again, you mention an alternate. What exactly are you referring to? You might not believe us if we do tell you. Try me. I am no stranger to the mysteries this world has to offer. Well, like I said earlier, we are presidents of the United States, but we're from the future. <laughs> You're quite the comedian, Barack. Like Charlie Chaplin. It's the truth, Yamato. I mean, how else do you think we know everything we do? I mean, look at us. Do we act and dress like we're from the 1940s? We are on a mission to save every universe. Well, you don't have to tell me the truth about who you are. It's fine. I'll go along with it, though, Mr. President. But we're not like... Never mind. Just forget it. Oh, shit. I got the ray gun. biden son. I almost forgot. How are you feeling? I apologize for hurting you on the boat. I was simply following orders. I understand. Even as president, I follow my handler's orders every day. It's in the past, Tomato. Also got the other laboratory powered up. Jesus, Sleepy Joe, did you just call him Tomato? Sure did. It's a term of endearment, kind of like how I call you an orange. Also, I just got these wicked dual-wheeled revolver things. Yeah, the marshals, I got them too. They're amazing. I too have acquired the weapons you speak of. Why am I the only one who didn't get them? The box is rigged. Stop bitching and get your pumpkin spice latte looking ass over here so we can enter the bunker together. Shut up, Joe, and open the damn door. Damn it, should have let me kill that mutating zombie for my challenge. Well, damn Barry, do you think we're mind readers? You should have said something. I can tell from your banter that you must be good friends. I have always longed for such companionship. We've been through a lot together, both good and bad, that's for sure. But what about you? Don't you have any friends? Most of my time growing up was spent on my studies. I was attending the University of Tokyo before the war broke out. It's where I learned a lot of my English. But my one true friend was the Blade. I had an older cousin who taught me from a young age everything I know. We weren't particularly close, but the impression he left on me is undeniable. Ooh, do you have a badass ninja sword with you right now? Let me see it! Do you see me carrying my katana with me? Yeah, kind of a stupid question, Donnie. Whatever. Let's just turn the power on. One of the fans is being blocked by a pesky cobweb, though, so we gotta go clear that first. You want us to go underwater? But I can't swim. Jesus, Joe, do I really have to teach you how to swim? Forget him, Donald. Let's just let Joe wait out here. No way! Follow me, Joe! I won't give up on you. This is something everyone should know how to do. Oh, Donald, where are you taking me? All right, Joe, welcome to Trump University. Today's lesson, learning to fucking swim. Now get in the water. But, but what if I drown? Joe, this water is like shoulder height max. You can literally just stand up if you went under. I don't know, man. Look, the water's fine, Joe. Oh no, the spiders are back, Joe, watch out. Uh, stay away, you scary eight-legged horrors. Joe, you're doing it, you're swimming. I am? I mean, fuck yes, I am. Congratulations, Joe. I'm genuinely proud of you right now. Thank you, Donald. My childhood fear of water has been destroyed. Think you can teach me to ride my bike without training wheels next? I always fall off when I don't use them. You'll have to get Obama to help with that one. My bike riding days are long over. If by long over, you mean you never learned how to ride in the first place, you'd be correct. I think the only reason you didn't sink in the water is because your round ass is buoyant. Also, I just realized something Joe, you were a goddamn lifeguard when you were younger. How did you not know how to swim? Well, I never said I was a good one. They eventually fired me because a few kids drowned on my watch. Like, big deal. While you three were busy squabbling pettily, I found an important looking piece entangled in a spider's web. Good job, Yamato. I found a piece as well outside by this zip line. Do you guys know what these are for? Sounds like those are for the pack-a-punch and gas mask, respectively. Oh, shit, it's a thrasher. Ah! It's Shrek. He's mad at us for being in his swamp. Kill him, Obama, quick. That's not Shrek, Joe. And there are more where that came from. What is a Shrek? Well, Yamato, Shrek is love, Shrek is life. I do not understand you Americans. Well, now that Joe has earned his sea legs, let's get the power turned on. Joe, you Neanderthal, you locked us out. 
I didn't know, man. I was told to clear the spider web. Sounds like you've got some cobwebs up by your brain from a lack of use. Gentlemen, all that matters is that power has been restored to the facility. I just hope George is doing okay. <coughs> I'm still alive. Never thought I'd hear from you again. You've lasted longer than most who come here. It wasn't easy. They tried everything they could to make me crack. Not everything. I've heard whispers from the guards of a new torture method that they're planning on using on the new arrivals. Fuck! We gotta get out of here. You think I haven't searched my cell top to bottom for a way out? I don't think I would even make it very far. Every day they've came to my cell and pumped me full of God knows what with their dirty needles. I have accepted that this will be my grave. My only hope then is that my friends will make it before it's too late. Since we got the power on, the next order of business is to open Pack-a-Punch and get the skull of non Way. Joe and I are starting the final skull ritual. But forgive me for asking Trump's son. What is this Pack-a-Punch you speak of? Oh, you'll see. It's a powerful machine capable of upgrading our weapons. I mean, hell, that pistol I gave you earlier, it gives it enough boom to destroy Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Eh? Shinjirarenai! Why would anyone want to destroy such beautiful cities? This machine sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Probably so, which means we need to put a stop to Division 9 so they cannot further their dark work. Well, that starts with us going to gather the skull of non Sopway. Everyone make their way to the altar. Ooh, this must be a piece for the Pack-a-Punch. Also, I really wish I had some chocolate chocolate chip. All right, everybody finally here. Let's head down into the tomb. I can't believe it. You are not lying. This cursed island holds many secrets. Donald J. Trump is no liar. Now that is a lie. So what does this thing do? What the? Are these the yokai I was told stories about as a child? These are keepers. Though I'm sure they have been referred to as many names. Uh, yokai, demons, angels. They are not evil by nature, but are capable of being corrupted. Just keep putting them out of their misery, and the skull will be ours. That appears to be all of them. Just what can this skull do? It has a couple different functions. First, it can vaporize any zombies in your way. Or alternatively, it can freeze them in place. This second ability can also be used to uncover secrets normally unseen. So keep an eye out, gentlemen. Also, I'm getting the vial of spider blood for the KT-4 wonder weapon. That reminds me, I found a green vial from a zombie earlier. Is that helpful? Pretty sure I remember seeing something about that on a Mr. Dalek JD video. Who is this Dalek you speak of? Just a British nobody. Don't worry about it. And yes, Joe, that green vial is important. Good job. Guys, I nearly drowned, but I also found a strange looking plant underwater. It wouldn't happen to be a special plant, would it? Not in the way you're thinking, Brock, geez. Well, Joe, since you did most of the work finding the parts, it's only fair that I take the KT4 so you don't have to worry about carrying it around. Gee, thanks, Donald. You're a true friend. Donald, you're cruel. That's just the art of the deal, Barry. Joe doesn't mind. Art of the deal, huh? We could use that kind of negotiating between our world leaders right now. Oh, you let me talk to Hitler and Hirohito and I'd have World War I ended by tomorrow. What do you mean, World War I? That war is already over. You're beginning to become Sleepy Donald. Just a slip of the tongue, Barack. My mind is as sharp as a tack. Anyways, I just finished my plane trap kills. Now, gotta get kills with the fan trap. I must admit, despite the occasional mental hiccups, you three handle yourselves well for senior citizens. I mean, we've been doing this for a while. Killing zombies and traveling as much as we do tends to keep you feeling young. Who are you calling a senior citizen? I'm only 62 years old and fit as a fiddle. <laughs> and I'm only 20. Compared to me, you're ancient. Don't worry, I respect my elders. I remember when I was young, I, uh, so uh, uh, where am I? Wow, great story, Joe. Anyways, just finished getting my plane trap kills. I just grew myself a plant, totally for one of my challenges. <sighs> oh yeah, that's the good stuff. I too have grown something, though it is an affront to nature itself. It is, however, helping to kill the undead and appears to be the plant I needed to grow for one of my challenges. Oh, snap, I think I just got the wonder weapon out of the box. Donald, we're twinning. 
Oh, great. Just what I want. Joe, are you even making any progress on your challenges? Yeah, I did the one where I had to recover my breath using a spore underwater. I got a power up from a plant as well. The last thing I need to do is grow a fruit from a plant. How do I do that? You have to water a plant using all three types of water. Easy stuff. Oh, OK. Ooh, this looks like a place where they'd uh, hide an Easter egg or something. So Yamato, sounds to me like you don't like being in the military. Why'd you join then? You think I had a choice? Sure, I joined of my own free will, but only because of the constant pressure by society. Think about it. A global war has broken out. If I, an able-bodied male, didn't sign up, I would have brought dishonor to my clan. There was a great chance I would have been forced to join anyways. But after seeing the horrors committed by the Japanese government, I knew I had to do something. Perhaps it was a stroke of luck that we met. Well, I wish I could say the United States was without fault during World War II. But we're on the right side of the fight for sure. I applaud you, young man. It's always nice to see young people standing up for what's right. Yeah, normally I can't stand your generation, always protesting me and shit. But you're all right, Yamaha. Anata wo fuck. I bet they're protesting your haircut. Chill out, you two. Mm -hmm. Where's Joe? Hold on, the web that was here has been removed with the KT-4. Oh no, Joe must have... What is so bad about that cave? I mean, Joe has held his own so far. Follow me and find out. Kuroi! That thing is huge. Shit, Joe, are you okay? <laughs> Joe, we know being alone with a giant spider must have been scary as fuck, but we're here now, it's all okay. It's not that. The spider, it violated me. It took my innocence. It was horrible. It used its long legs to... The only reason I was able to free myself was because I had my Baymaker. Oh my God, Joe. I'm so sorry. We will support you in any way we can. And I thought the other spiders were big. This must be where they all came from. Division 9 will pay. Take this, you spider fuck. I will no longer be your victim. It's finally dead, Joe. It can't hurt you or anyone else any longer. And we got an ingredient for the upgraded KT-4. This strange purple liquid, it is reminiscent of the perk drinks from around the island. I know not who this Dr. Monty is or why he created this widow's wine, but hopefully it proves beneficial. Dr. Monty, you don't even know the half of it, Yamato. Whoa, I just took some shortcut from the lab to outside. And my bucket, it's filled with a rainbow-colored water. Great, we're gonna need that. I just mesmerized the map in the bunker, which allows us to open more areas using the skull. If you use your skull at the bottom of the underwater path, there is a wall that will reveal a special plant spot. Use the rainbow water on it to grow an ingredient for the upgraded KT-4. It is vital to our mission. I really don't understand how you know all of this. The American intelligence agencies must really be top notch. Don't worry, I don't understand how they figured all this stuff out either. All right, my only challenge left is to kill a thrasher before it becomes enraged. I just gotta grow this fruit. I've grown like three plants already and keep getting power-ups or weapons. The fact that Division 9 has somehow created plants capable of sprouting forth guns, this is insanity. Well, Japan has always been ahead of the curve on new innovations. Just you wait a few years, Yamato. The anime industry is going to explode in popularity worldwide. And there's also these toilets that wash your ass for you after you take a shit. It's insane. <laughs> you are a funny man, Donald Trump. Uh, guys, I just used a gobble gum and was teleported to a weird room. I found a gear on the floor, seemed useful. But what are all these blueprints and whatnot? These are drawings of dragons, and these eggs reminds me of my old friend, Jerry. Good job, Joe. That gear is going to be needed to fix the elevator so we can hopefully find George. I found the special plant Trump's son mentioned. Ooh, this looks yummy. Lightning has struck my shield. All the challenges are done. You must have gotten a fruit, Joe. Yeah, I threw up after eating it, though. Hope it was worth it. We're potentially going to save George because of it, so yes, totally worth it. Now, I need you to get in this cage so I can lower it, and you can grab an ingredient for the Masamune. Oh, why me? <sighs> Here goes nothing, I guess. See you, Joe. Now all we'll need is the underwater plant. Actually, I have already grown the hidden plant. 
Once Joe grabs the ingredient Donald mentioned, you should be able to enhance your KT4. And this is why people say Asians are so smart. Good job, Yamato. All right, I grabbed the part. You can let me out now. Uh, guys? So what's next? We gotta get the remaining two gears for the elevator? That's right. We gotta use the electric shield on the zip line and blow up the plane. So once we get the last part for the KT-4 upgrade, we can start trying to grow the AA shell. Growing an artillery shell from a plant? Now you must be joking. Please, for the love of Mother Mary, don't tell me you've forgotten about me. I'm scared of tight spaces. Yeah. Really? You know it doesn't make any sense, Yamato. Just roll with it. Oh, shit. We forgot about Joe down there. Oh, thank you, God. Sweet freedom at last. Donald, take your stupid part and just leave me alone since you want to forget to pull me up. Joe, we're so sorry. On the bright side, I got the Masamune. And if you come down to the labs, you can get one, too. I'm still mad at you, even if I get a cool wonder weapon. Do not worry, Trump son. We have an expression in Japan. Well, what the fuck does that mean exactly? Again, I don't speak Japanese. Friends show their love in times of trouble, not in happiness. I can sense that you three have been through a lot together. Joe knows that you've got his back and he's got yours. Wow, that's deep. You're right, though. We have been through a lot. Joe, more so than any of us. He's been through hells he won't even fully disclose to us yet. Hold on to your bonds with each other. Keep them close. Your friendship will protect you throughout your journey, wherever it may lead you. That's some solid advice, Yamato. Even throughout the short time we've known each other, you've grown to be a good friend. Wait, Obama-san, you consider me a... friend? Of course I do. Nothing brings people together quite like killing zombies. I'm sure the other guys agree with me. Damn right, you're one of us now, buddy. I don't usually make friends, but you're a cool guy. Really hope you get to meet George, too. He'd like you. Arigato, my friends. What is next for us to save George? Follow me to the zip line so we can grab the next gear. You'll have to trust me, though. Also, watch out, there's a thrasher chasing you. Hold on, Donnie, that's no ordinary Shrek. He's friendly. I've named him Petrie. He's killing these meat sacks for us. It seems like you can find friends in the most unlikely of places, Biden-san. Trump-san. I'm at the zip line. All right, get ready to drop off immediately. Got it. I just grew the AA bullet as well. We can shoot down the plane for the last gear. How exactly do you know this plane is carrying the gear we need? We know a lot, trust me. Oh, I wish George were here for this. At least it wasn't a kamikaze plane. All right, the final gear must be around here somewhere. Hmm, what is this? What the? Is that a person inside? Got the gear, let's go repair the elevator and hopefully find George and the alternate one of us. Sugoi, the elevator is open, everybody on. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Please, just kill me. I can't take it anymore. You're still alive? I'm sorry to say, but mercy is a foreign concept in this hell. I've been begging for death since the day I got here. Please talk to me. Tell me about yourself. Let me get my mind off of this place. Very well. I'll tell you what I can remember. I don't know how I ended up here exactly. I just woke up and was surrounded by people speaking a different language than me. They tied me up and brought me to this island. I thought it was all just a bad dream, but I never woke up. I can't even imagine. I'm so sorry. By the sounds of it, you're American too, right? That's right. Even had begun to make a name for myself. I was a United States Senator, a pretty young one too. Really? I've met quite a few Senators in my day. What's your name? Maybe I know you. That's the funny thing. I don't remember. It must be the drugs they're giving me. My memory has begun to deteriorate. Never thought I'd forget my own name. You though, you're a tough guy. What's been driving you to stay alive this long? It all goes back to my dad. He was a pilot during World War II and his plane was shot down. He and a few others were surrounded by the enemy and only he managed to survive. That story has inspired me my whole life. I know I can be just as strong as him. Though he likely wouldn't have been captured like this in the first place. I got to talk to him for the last time a while back. I feel like I'm letting him down. Don't think like that. I'm sure your father was a great man and he raised a great son. If anyone can survive this, 
It's you. I'm sorry he's passed on, though. I know a thing or two about loss myself. My entire family was taken from me in an instant. That's the only reason I stopped putting up a fight. Even if I were to leave here, I'd have nothing left to return to. You can't give up. I'm so sorry about what you went through, but your family wouldn't want this for you. I know they wouldn't, but it's too late now. The chemicals are starting to take hold. I feel my body beginning to change. I've seen the other test subjects. I will soon become something not recognizable as human. So please, before I'm too far gone, tell me your name. It's George. George, I need you to do something for me. Survive. Survive and remember this me, not what I become. Don't let me be forgotten because you're the only person left who knows the real me. Please. I will try my best. I don't want to die here. If I escape, I will never forget you. I couldn't. We are in this together. <coughs> Thank you. I feel like this is it. I'm sorry to leave you so soon. Give these Division 9 bastards hell when you escape. For both of us. I will. I sure hope the guys are alive and can save me. I miss you all so much. All right, guys, this is it. If my hunch is right, then George will be down here, alongside the person we originally came here for, the other me or Joe. Just be on your guard, guys. We don't exactly know what else could be down here. Joe, be ready to put that KT-4 to use. Hopefully this will signal the end of our quest, and I can finally go to America. I hope you can too, Yamato. Uh, this is our stop. We're coming, George. Just hold on a little longer. Itai Zentai? Oh shit, what is that thing? I don't know, but it doesn't look friendly. We have to destroy the spores on its arms when they are exposed, Joe. Look out, it's calling in reinforcements. Don't suppose your buddy Petrie is still around, Joe? Damn it, no, he stayed up top. Didn't even get to say goodbye. You can mourn later, Joe. Just spam that Masamune at everything you see trying to kill us. Come on, guys, we can do this if we work together. We've faced tougher foes before. Oh shit, what's going on out there? Eat this, you big tree branch looking bastard. Donald, is that you? Guys, I'm in here. Did you all hear that? A voice from one of the cells. That was George. Buddy, we're out here. Hold on. Just two spores left. I can't believe they do this to someone. Make monsters out of regular people. Yeah, for real. I mean, we've all committed our fair share of war crimes, but this is an entirely different level of cruelty. Division 9 will pay. Now, take the shot. Put this creature out of its misery. Take this and be free. Did we do it? Is he dead? George, oh my God, what did they do to you? Dr. Monty needs to make contact so we can get you medical attention. Monty, the man behind the widow's wine. So you do know him. Wait, who said that? Barry, get that blindfold off him. Guys, I, I never thought I'd see you again. But uh, who's this? Yamato Fujihara. It is an honor to meet you, George. You were on the boat when we were captured. Why help find me? I never wanted this for anybody. I feel great shame for my actions, knowing they perpetrated this evil. I reluctantly joined your friends for my own gain. But I consider these men to be true friends now. And I hope I can count you among them. Whatever you did before, it's in the past. You saved my life, and for that, you have my thanks, Yamato. I promise, George, Division 9 will pay for the torture they made you endure. I hope so. I don't know how they got their hands on it, but they forced me to. Binge-watch episodes of One Piece. Wait, what? That doesn't sound like torture to me. It was far worse than the beatings and the waterboarding. I do not understand. What is this One Piece you speak of? It's not important. Let's just be glad George managed to survive. <coughs> Wait, look over there. The creature we just fought, it's reverted back to a human. Really? That man helped me keep my sanity down here. Let's check on him. Your eyes. I recognize them. Almost as if they were my own. This can't be. It's you. You're Joseph Biden. I never thought I'd find you in such a place. That's right. My name is Joe Biden. How could I forget something so basic? I'm a senator from the state of Delaware. I just wanted to make my country a better place to live in. I share this memory. I too had your hopes and dreams. Where did it all go wrong? Was the accident not enough? Losing my wife and daughter? 
I know your pain all too well, but this cruelty you have endured was nothing more than bad luck. I deserve so much more than this. I know. And in another life, you get more than you could ever imagine. Let me be your proof of that. Your sacrifice today will not be in vain. This world is consumed by the evil. A better tomorrow can only be achieved if we blow away the ashes of yesterday. I understand, and I accept my fate. At least you will be with Nelia and Naomi again. Fifty long years I have waited to be reunited with them, and I must continue to wait. But not you. You have earned that privilege today. Thank you. I can only pray that you live the rest of your life to the fullest for the both of us. And please, make it quick. You have my word as a Biden. Good luck in your future. And thank you. Don't worry, Joe. He's at peace now. Will his, our soul be safe inside the summoning key? The summoning key can preserve one's soul even after death. There's nowhere safer. Thank you, Donald. You're a true friend. I fully trust our soul in your hands. Surprisingly, so do I. Speaking of, I'm all that's left. I have a pretty good idea about where we're going. Yeah, Dr. Monty needs to answer us. Hopefully he can help Yamato get to America as well. Wait, where is Yamato? Help me. Shit, over there. Yamato, let him go. One wrong move out of you four and he's dead. Did you really think you'd get away with this, you traitor? The Emperor will be very displeased to learn about this, Yamato Fujihara. Indeed he will, sir. But I believe we should really be calling him by his proper name. Proper name? What the hell is he talking about, Yamato? It is not important, Barak. You wouldn't understand anyways. Are you that ashamed of yourself? Enough of the charade, Yamato Masaki. Masaki? Where have I heard that name before? Hold on, the cousin you mentioned earlier, are you related to... It seems these Americans aren't as dumb as we thought. They must be spies. But yes, Yamato here is of the famed Masaki clan. His relative is the famous hero, Takeo Masaki. I do wonder how deep this betrayal runs. The Emperor will surely find out about this. Clan Masaki must be purged entirely. Leave them out of this, I'm begging you! You can have me, just don't hurt my family. That will be up to the Emperor to decide. But Yamato, you are getting off rather easily. A bullet to the head is far more humane than what Division 9 would have done to you. What do you mean? You poor fool. You thought you were on that boat to provide protection. But we have known about your plans to defect for months. You were a prisoner? You just didn't know it. Now, any last words? We will provide you that much, even if you don't deserve it, traitor scum. Yamato, hold on. We'll figure this out. Just... No, Bush-san. There's no way you can save me now. You four have gone through too much to throw it away for me. This is where my story ends. Yamato, don't say that. Hush, Barak. Let me speak my peace before my end. It is true. I come from a well-renowned clan. But that never suited me. I wanted to carve my own path. My own destiny. To do what's right. To be decent and to bring honor to my name, even if it meant forsaking my homeland. But I guess none of that matters anymore. I've dreamt every night of becoming an American, to experience what the land of opportunity has to offer, to know my dreams will never be realized. No, that's not true. Huh? You may not be an American citizen, Yamato, but you embody the very best of the American spirit. Donald's right. You showed courage in the face of overwhelming odds exhibited compassion to us despite being enemies in this war, helped us in our time of need, not knowing if you'd even get anything in return. And you risked your life for me, a complete stranger. Doesn't get more American than that. Take it from us, we're US presidents. Huh. You know, I'm actually starting to believe you aren't lying about that. Very well, Mr. President. It has been an honor to serve the great United States of America. And more importantly, to be able to call you for my friends. So, do me one last favor. Anything, Yamato. We'll do whatever we can, buddy. Give us the word. We've got you. Give them hell for me. No! Yamato! Die, you bastards! Damn it, Yamato. We couldn't save him. Rest easy, our friend. Your death will not be in vain. This is all Dr. Monty's fault. He should have been here for us. How many bodies must we leave in our wake on this journey? 
He did so much for us. And now he's just gone. Not if we keep his memory alive. Because of him, we saved Georgia and completed our mission here. He can never be forgotten. I've seen too many tragedies unfold today. I'm ready to get out of here. So, uh, how do we get out of here? Still no word from Dr. Monty. I'm not sure, but... Over there, a portal opened. About time, Dr. Monty. All right, let's go. Yamato was right, this island is cursed, and I don't want to be here a second longer. Wait a second. This portal, it's different than the usual ones we've gone through. You're right, a bit on the creepy side, don't you think? I'm sure Dr. Monty just gave them a makeover. British people are weird like that. Either way, we don't have a choice. Donald's right, let's go, gentlemen, to secure Obama's soul. Whoa, where the hell are we? I have no clue. I thought we were going to Stalingrad. This place sure is creepy. Why would Dr. Monty bring us here? Maybe he didn't. I mean, we haven't heard from him in quite a bit. I don't want to alarm anyone, but I think I wet myself. Shut up, Joe. I suppose we ought to take a look around wherever this is. Are we dead? Are we alive? Where, where are we? Did you hear that? Look, over there. Is that us? Looks like it. I understand the other me being here, but why are you guys there too? Who knows? Let's not let that deter us from our mission, though. We know what we have to do. Come on, Barry, let's make this quick. What did that guy say about us killing zombies but not going home? Is this some sort of sword art online experiment? How do I take off the VR headset? That didn't come from your headset. Huh, Barack, did you say something? No! This is real life. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? This has got to be a dream. Guys, please wake me up. I don't think this is a dream, Joe. For once, I actually wish you were sleeping. Are these guys supposed to be us? Just who are you? And where is that guy from 7-Eleven? 7-Eleven? What is this me talking about? Must be some sort of 115 induced delusions. Yeah, this is some serious delusion, all right. Somebody must have laced my Cheetos. Nobody laced your Cheetos, fat ass. You're just probably in a diabetic coma from eating them all and this is all just a figment of your imagination. I don't know, Barry, this seems pretty real to me. But if that's true, then who are these guys? Clones, past selves, future selves, alter egos, us from another dimension? This is unbelievable. Multiverse theory is real. Wait, does that mean time travel is real? Wait, if time travel is real, then we can go back to 9-11 and stop it. What's the first rule of time travel, dumbass? You can't interfere with the past. As much as I want to, we can't. Unless that's what these guys are doing. Psst. This other George is a fucking nerd. He sounds pretty smart to me. Nothing wrong with that. Guys, we're getting sidetracked. We know why we're here. You mean we're actually here for a reason? In that case, I'd really love an explanation. Well, you're here for a reason. I'm not sure why there's another Joe, Donald, and George, though. We'll take them out, too, if we have to. Wouldn't be the first time. Whoa, well, hold up. What do you mean, take us out? I knew it. We are going to die. E Barack Obama, I'm sorry, but you're here to fulfill a grand purpose. Your death will be quick. Whoa, whoa, are you sure this grand purpose really requires you to bust a cap in my ass? Trust me, if I knew I didn't have to, I wouldn't. This is for the good of everybody. We have a responsibility to the universe and we won't let anyone stand in our way of fulfilling it. Barack, stop what you're doing. This is not the other you you're looking for. Monty, about time we've been waiting to hear from you. But wait, this isn't the Obama we're looking for? Who the hell is he then? These are the presidential zomboys. The presidential zomboys? You mean from the first dimension? What are you guys talking about? Who are you guys talking to? Does this mean you're not gonna kill me? You all must come to the house. The other four can't hear me yet, but you absolutely must not stay there. I will try and open a portal at your location. Hang tight. All right, you four. Sorry about the misunderstanding earlier, but you have to come with us. We're not entirely sure what's going on, but we can't stay here. Well, I'm guessing we don't really have a choice, do we? Listen, I don't care where we go, just get us off this dark shore. And just where do you think you're going? Ah! 
Who the hell said that? Finally, I have you all in one place. Completely defenseless. Vengeance will be mine at last. You don't know how long I've waited for this day. Presidential Zomboys. Uh, are you talking about us or them? We have no clue who you are. You four are the targets of my vengeance. But it was quite the stroke of luck to find these other four pawns. Through them, I will be able to exact my revenge on the one who I hate the most. Yes, I will finally rid the multiverse of- The portal is open. Hurry, gentlemen. Escape while you can. Quick, into the portal, everybody. Well, guys, it's now or never. Into the portal. Man, Michelle is gonna be so pissed. Oh, no, you don't. I will not be denied my revenge. Take this! You fools will never reach the house. I hope you enjoy the hells that await you. What the, where are we? Something's gone wrong. This isn't the house. You think it was something that creepy dude back there did? Dr. Monty said we were supposed to meet him. Whoa there, slow down. Dr. Monty, the house, are you all high? Now is not the time to be talking about a call of duty. Trust me, Brock, I wish I was high right now. Unfortunately, this is all happening. Dr. Monty, the house, element 115. Across the multiverse, it all exists, and you have been dragged into it. Holy shit, look around us, Barack. I think they're telling the truth. No way, this is Gorod. Stalingrad, the city of blood. This was supposed to be our next stop, but that means he must be here. Hold on, where's Donald and Joe? I'm right, neither of the two Donalds or Joes are here. This cannot be happening. Our friends, will they be okay? I can't say for sure, but chances are they're still alive. They may not look like it, but our Joe and Donald are veterans of the craziness that is unfolding around us. They've both been through a lot. If your friends are with them, then they're in good hands. I pray that you're right. So now what, we're just stranded in this nightmare? I mean, we were just having a normal sleepover, went to get some ice cream for Joe, and then some weirdo behind the counter starts mumbling about waiting a long time and us killing zombies. There's nothing normal about four grown adults having a sleepover just saying, but to your point, that guy didn't look or seem familiar, yet he seemed motivated by revenge against us. This is confusing as fuck. Let's hope Monty can make contact soon. And gentlemen, you may want to arm yourselves. I don't think we're alone here. You're right about that. You aren't alone. What the, who the hell said that? Show yourself. Look over there, across the fence. I'll be the one asking the questions around here. Your sudden appearance in this city, my city, under any other circumstances, I'd say it's impossible. But with the way the rest of today has been going, I'm not surprised one bit. No way. This is impossible. You're Barack Obama. Hmm. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. What are you? Ghosts of my past here to haunt me? Well, this just got a whole lot weirder. No, Barack, we're nothing like that. I'd love to explain, but things are complicated enough as it is. However, we do need your help. My help? I don't believe you four are in the position to make demands of me. And if you're going to speak to me, then at least get my name right. It's Hussein. All right, uh, Hussein. The truth is we're not from this reality. The multiverse is fractured and broken, but you can help us fix it. Huh, you sound just like my George. Very well, but you have to do something for me first. See, my mech here is out of juice, and I don't know if you've noticed, but the city is under attack by all sorts of creatures. Find me a replacement power core. Help me stop this otherworldly invasion, and I'll do what I can to help you. Do we have a deal? I don't think we have much of a choice here, guys, but uh, I'm not too thrilled about taking on otherworldly horrors. We do it on a daily basis. If I can do it, then so can you, George. You've got yourself a deal. We'll get you that power core. Very well. Head to the command center. There you'll be able to restore power to the headquarters and meet up with an associate of mine. Oh, and one more thing. If you even think about crossing me, I will personally end you and bathe in your blood. Message received. Guess we ought to get a move on, guys. The sooner we can go home, the better. All right, let's move.
So this is it, huh? Gorod Krovi, and as if two of me wasn't weird enough, a third one appeared. Well, on the bright side, Barack, we did do this Easter egg a few months ago. We know this map like the back of our hands. We're not here to sightsee you two. Let's make our way to the Dragon Command. Well, excuse us for not being versed in multiversal travel. I mean, for Christ's sake, look. A fucking dragon just flew by. Eh, you get used to it. Oh shit, George, did you crash this plane? Shut, Shut up. up. Look at this. I don't know what kind of defenses uh, Hussein has around here, but they managed to take out a fucking dragon. Man, this is just like Horde of the Dragon Queen. I remember my first time taking out Tiamat. It's so insane to see a real life dragon like this. What the fuck is a Tiamat? Is that some sort of custom zombies boss? No, man. It's a D&D &D campaign. You haven't heard of that one? D&D, &D, as in Dungeons and Dragons? I think I'm gonna be sick. You really are a nerd. Well, unfortunately, these dragons are more than just one of your tabletop games, George 2. This is real life. Now, hold on, why am I George 2? Obviously, because I'm number one. Whatever. Ooh, I've always wanted to find out what a gobble gum tasted like. Okay, never mind, I guess. I straight up got nothing. Normally, I'm not a gobblegum nooblet, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Not bad, but which gum was that again? I can't tell. Oh shit, it was on the house. Oh shit, nice Barack. Well, I guess we got a perk. I don't feel any different though. But George, holy shit, you got electric cherry. It's a good thing too, because I hear those flesh-eating bastards nearby. Get ready to fight for your lives, you two. Time to see what you guys are made of. Don't hold us back now. Oh shit, there really are zombies. Take this, you freak bag. I did it, I actually killed one. There's plenty more where that came from. Don't let your guard down. Out of my face, you undead fuck. Guess my military training is finally paying off. Nice to finally have another military guy around. Although, to be honest, I skipped out on drill a lot during my time in the National Guard. They even made a big fuss about it when I was running for re-election. Wait, you could do that? Isn't that like going AWOL or something? Well, nobody seemed to care at the time. A guy like me deserved a break every now and then. It's great that you two are getting along so well, but we should probably get out of here. Hussein said we have to meet an associate of his, and he doesn't seem like the kind of guy to piss off. True that. Let's look around for anything that could be of use while we're at it. I don't think anyone's going to be doing any shopping around here anytime soon. Yeah, this place has certainly seen better days. Make sure to stay strapped around these parts, boys. Who knows what else this commie hellhole could have in store for us. No point buying some garbage off the wall when we're so close to the real firepower. You two sound way too used to all of this. Just what have you been through exactly? How long do you have? I mean, our current mission has been to hop from one dimension to the other, killing alternate versions of ourselves that posed a threat to the multiverse. Donald was first, then me, and just a while ago, Joe. Not to mention I got tortured at the hands of Division 9. Whoa. The only foreign hostility I've ever faced was that dude throwing his shoes at me. Glad you're still alive, me. It's the mystery box. It's really real. Please let me get the ray gun Mark III. Monkey bombs, really? Not even a gun? Let me try. No fucking way. I can't believe I'm holding a real life wonder weapon in my hands right now. I think I'm gonna bust. Please don't. And of course, the dude with the least experience here got the Wonder Weapon. Might as well be Joe using it. I mean, he is Sleepy George. Shut up, Barack, you're just jealous. All right, enough with the petty squabbles. I think we're sufficiently armed to protect ourselves for a while. Let's move out. So this Hussein guy, do you trust him? He seems kind of angry. Not really, but getting close to him is necessary to secure his soul inside the summoning key. Thankfully, Yamato gave it to me back on Zetsubu and not Donald. Who's Yamato? A good man and an American hero. Anyways, now that power's on, maybe we'll get some answers. So is this Sophia? Systems operational. Bill! Am I going crazy or did she just say Bill? No way, this is impossible. It really is you. Hillary, you bitch! Greetings, I am Hillary. You are not Bill Clinton. Security codes are required for further interaction. I don't understand, how is this possible? We've dealt with Hillary before. She's an evil, manipulative cretin who at one point ruled over the ether itself. Hillary in control of the ether? Now that's a scary thought. And you guys managed to defeat her? Barely. We nearly lost Donald in the process, but we did it. She's supposed to be dead, though. I mean, if there's other versions of us in the multiverse, it'd be safe to assume there'd be another Hillary, right? Good point. This one appears to be some sort of artificial intelligence, just like Sophia and Gorod Krovi. 
makes you wonder how exactly Treyarch made their games so similar to stuff that is actually happening. I mean, first rule of multiverse theory, there are an infinite number of realities where anything can happen. So by that logic, this makes total sense. George, this makes absolutely zero sense, and you know it. You're just trying to impress your other self by seeming smart. For the record, it's not working. This guy is cringe. The only way you could impress me is if somehow in your universe you prevented 9-11. Are you four done wasting my time? All oh, right, sorry, Hill Dog. You see, uh, Hussein told us you could help us. I am not familiar with this, Hussein. Records indicate my sole function is to listen to Bill. Are you familiar with him? Oh, we're familiar with that snake, all right. He's not here, though, so you better listen to us. This request has been denied. Well, that's just great. Now what? Let me speak to whichever of you is in charge. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Of course I can. And now that power has been restored to the facility, I can communicate with you freely. I hate to break it to you, but your associate is acting haywire. She's acting like she doesn't know you. Hmm. It appears during the outage, her memory banks must have corrupted. The access codes will be required to regain her trust. I take it you know what I'm speaking of? Yeah, I think we do, but just what is she? How did this Hillary come to be? Well, if you must know, this world, it wasn't always like this. There was a time before the apocalypse, when things were peaceful. After a nuclear war broke out between nations, things changed forever. There were few survivors. Out of the surviving US presidents, only myself and Bill Clinton remained. Putin, the main aggressor in the war, perished. There were no nations remaining, no governments. We had to leave what used to be the United States, and we made our way to Russia. The people didn't blame us for the catastrophe and chose me as the new president of the remaining world. Bill was smart, but weak. He couldn't survive without Hillary. And thus, he built the machine before you, an artificial intelligence based off of her. Bill passed away not long ago, and Hillary here has been repurposed into a supercomputer capable of surveying the city, deploying our weapon systems, and even conducting research on ways to rebuild this Earth. She's my eyes and ears, but her code has been tough to crack. She still holds sympathies for Bill, and it's been difficult to get her to always cooperate. Just do what she says. If anyone can get us a replacement power core, it'll be her. All right, we'll get right on that, Hussein. Well, this place seems pretty fucking depressing. No kidding, no wonder this guy ended up the way he did. Yeah, I'd be in a pretty bad mood too if there were dragons trying to eat me. The dragons arrived a couple months ago from a rift that opened above the city. Suffice to say, our cobbled together military hasn't done the best to fend them off. They've multiplied since the initial few showed up. However, there were successful attempts by Bill to tame the creatures, use the modules to collect the pieces of the dragon controller. No way. This will be just like how to train your dragon, but actually cool. Well, I'd rather train a dragon in real life than roll some stupid little 25-sided dice and pretend. Also, I got the PPSH. Let's go. Um, actually, it's 20 sides. Well, um, actually, I don't give a fuck, nerd. Is this guy really me? Jeez, your George is ruthless. He's got a soft side to him, too. Don't let old Georgie bully you. Oh, trust me, he doesn't scare me. Also, found one of those cylinder things. Let's call in the module. McConnell module incoming. Hold up, did she say McConnell? Seems like Mitch was up to no good in this universe too. Guess we got lucky in ours that he's just an old harmless turtle. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder by the minute. Why are US politics and the events of COD zombies so intertwined? Well, that's what we want to know too. Unfortunately, Monty hasn't explained any of that yet. He's been pretty ambiguous about a lot of stuff, including you guys. I'm still in awe that Dr. Monty actually exists. And are we supposed to be important or something? I assumed we just got roped into all of this by accident. I mean, you being here definitely wasn't intentional, but Dr. Monty has a boner for your dimension. Apparently yours is like the first ever universe in existence, predating the multiverse. That's why keeping you guys safe is so important. Well, that sounds like a big deal to me. Our universe seems so mundane though. I mean, nothing this crazy has ever happened as far as I can tell. That's a good thing, Barack. I'd kill for the peace you all have back home. I haven't seen my Laura in God knows how long now. Speaking of wives, I hope ours are okay. That weirdo at the 7-Eleven better not have done anything to them. Either way, Michelle has got to be worried about us. Definitely. I'd do anything to hear her voice right now. Hell, she could nag at me for hours if she wanted. I wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Barry. We'll get you guys home, I promise. I can't imagine another Michelle going through any kind of pain. 
Another Michelle? Are you saying that yours is, no, not mine, thankfully. But there was an incident a while ago where we unwittingly doomed an entire universe, wiping out all of its inhabitants. The blame falls squarely on the Clintons, though, those megalomaniacs. Anyways, build the shield down below. Better grab one to protect your keister. That's rough. I can't imagine that kind of guilt. The kind of stuff we deal with on a daily basis is pretty minuscule, like when Donnie broke your copy of Smash Brothers, Barry. That motherfucker still owes me for that. Thanks for reminding me, George. We should all go get Jug. It'll definitely come in handy. Makes you feel big and strong. Yeah, we know how it works. Though I'm curious what it'll do to us in real life. Down the hatch. Oh. Now that was downright putrid. Tastes like expired eggnog mixed with phosphoric acid. Yeah, but it definitely gives you thicker skin, literally. The zombies hit a lot less harder with juggernog inside you. Fuck, these Russian manglers are scary. I don't want to be on the receiving end of their arm cannon. My Barry here knows a lot about being on the receiving end, if you know what I mean. George, not another word out of you. Let's just bring the second code cylinder to the supply depot. Fire zombies, watch out, guys. I'm sure Donald would say something cheesy like, you're fired right about now. So you're friends with Donald Trump as well? I must admit I miss him. As different as we were, he was my friend. Man, I feel bad for this me. Losing his friends, his family, and his country. Can't be an easy thing to go through. I mean, this isn't even his dimension. Not sure if he's just gone mad, but every other version of us has been a refugee in another universe. That's the reason we have to take them out. They're causing an instability in the fabric of reality. Well, that explains why you wanted to waste our Barack. But this guy seems like he's been here for a long time. You sure it's the right Obama and you're not making another mistake? It's got to be him. We've been to the giant, Der Eisendrach, and Zetsubu. Gorod is next. Besides, I know for a fact that the Obama we're looking for is in Stalingrad. This is our guy. Time works differently across dimensions. Maybe he has been here for a while. I'm sure we'll get answers soon enough. Anyways, we got the next piece. Just one more and we can hopefully head to pack a punch. Hey, me, is that the ray gun I see? Barack, what do you think? Should we let this handsome guy be an honorary member of the ray gun boys? I mean, if he's got the ray gun, then yeah, he can join. Bet, ray gun boys for life. You catch on quick, George. Anyways, let's not dilly-dally. Gotta head to the tank factory. All right, here's the last McConnell module. Let's go protect it and get that last piece. Man, the ray gun Mark III goes so hard. Maybe I can sneak this back to our world. The US military could probably disassemble and recreate it. Probably not. Every time we teleport, we lose whatever weapons we had previously. Safe to say, that thing is staying here. Now let's go get that dragon controller. There we go. Time to go ride a dragon. God, I'm so fucking excited. Just don't cream your pants, George. All right, calling the dragon. George too. you can have the honors of hopping on first. Holy shit. This is really happening, isn't it? I'm about to ride a real dragon. Man, Donald is never gonna call me a nerd again after I tell him about this. Hop on, everyone. Even I gotta admit, this is gonna be awesome. All right, George, better take it all in. I'm sure this is gonna be a lot like when you lost your virginity. It's gonna be way better. Why, because riding the dragon is going to happen more than once? Georgie, I wouldn't knock your alternate about his bedroom habits. I remember you sharing a very interesting story about yours when we were locked in that closet in Call of the Dead. Barack, I told you that in confidence under the assumption we were going to die, so stop talking. That was one of the best things I've ever experienced in my life. Well, I'm glad some good has come out of this multiverse of madness. Now let's hope we live to tell the tale. So I guess we'll have to acquire the Dragon Strike controller, which means doing the lockdown step. Shit, now what? There's some sort of blue glow enveloping the area. I think it's those annoying ass Valkyrie drones Time to put this pack gun to use. I see you've encountered my creations. The Valkyrie drones were designed to protect the city. And seeing as how you four are foreign hostiles in their eyes, they will try to exterminate you. What a surprise. Punished Obama over here is responsible for the drones. It seems in every universe, Obama thinks drones are the answer to life's problems. I mean, I've yet to run into an issue a good, well-placed drone strike didn't solve. Amen to that, brother. They just keep coming. And they don't stop coming, fed to the rules, and I hit the ground running. Ah, rest in peace, Steve Harwell. Wait, the dude from Smash Mouth died when? It's been a couple months now. Just how long exactly have you guys been on your little quest? I'm not sure, to be honest. When you're constantly jumping through hoops, literally and metaphorically, it gets hard to keep track of time. I mean, it's been at least a few months since the whole incident with Willard Weiler. 
After that, we got a little break from the madness before Hillary tried to get her revenge. I'm sorry, but did you say Willard Wyler, as in the dude from Infinite Warfare Zombies? Yeah, we kind of got trapped in his films and had to fight to save our souls. But that's neither here nor there. Let's start this lockdown so we can get the Dragon Strike. Hostile forces approaching, initiating lockdown sequence. Eyes front, gentlemen. Thankfully, this isn't our first experience with lockdowns, thanks to Donald and his mismanaging of COVID. I'm hopping on the MG42. Time to tear these undead maggot addicts to shreds. That's it, George, don't let them pass. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is the most excitement I've had in my life since being president. Speaking of being president, since us and Joe are technically missing right now, wouldn't that make Kamala acting president right now? I've never really thought about it, but I guess that's the case back home right now, too. I mean, we did meet a Kamala, but it was before she was even sworn in as VP. Kamala as president. Now that's a scary thought, and all the more reason for us to get the hell home as soon as possible. Good evening. I'm Jessica Taylor with SHRB News, and tonight we bring to you a serious matter of national security. The President of the United States, Joe Biden, has gone missing. Along with him, missing are the three former U.S. presidents, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, and George W. Bush. Nothing is currently known about their whereabouts, and officials have yet to reveal if they suspect foul play. Now, as most of you at home know, I'm not one to get into the whole conspiracy thing, but the President of the United States and the three former presidents all going missing at the same time? It makes me pretty worried. But hopefully tonight some of that worry can be put to rest, because I'm just receiving word that we have coming live from outside the White House. We have acting President Kamala Harris. Citizens of the United States, it has been almost 10 days since our president went missing. We have spared no expense in this search and we are using every resource we have available to try and track down not only President Biden, but our three former presidents. We ask that you, the people, maintain calm and go about your regular lives while we continue to search for the president. In the meantime, I will assume the role of president to be given up immediately upon the location of President Biden. I know this might be controversial, but we are in dire times, and as vice president, I am standing up to take the reins for all of you. Thank you for your time, and God bless America. Finally, that's over. All this fake crying over Joe going missing is exhausting. But now I am the president. I've waited long enough for this. It's my turn. President Harris? Madam President, Task Force 141 are ready for orders. We can have them on a plane heading wherever you need within the hour. Where shall we send them, Madam President? I'm afraid that won't be necessary, Agent Hughes. Effective immediately, we are pulling all operatives currently searching for President Biden. Call them all off? Surely you can't be serious. We have a duty to protect the president. And tell me, who is the current president of the United States, Agent Hughes? Forgive me, that would be you, of course, Madam President. But you said it yourself. Your presidency is to be relinquished upon President Biden's safe return. Well then, it sounds like you better make sure that President Biden's safe return doesn't happen. I don't care what you have to do, but you will make sure that those four are never found. I will be president. Uh, yes, Madam President, as you wish. All right, lockdown complete. Now we can add a new weapon to our arsenal. Now this is something I wish I had back home. Imagine all those Middle Eastern civvies running in terror as a dragon breathes fire upon them. Now you're speaking my language. Who knew I had so much in common with myself? Well, we definitely get along better than our Georges, that's for sure. Here comes the dragon egg. We'll need the gauntlet of Siegfried to complete our mission. Oh, gross. I hate that the only way back to spawn is through dirty sewer water. I'm gonna have to take 10 baths when I get home. Still, I shot the switch for the frothing toilet trophy. All right, place down the dragon egg, and then let's wait for the big dragon to come breathe fire on it. There it is. Now we just gotta wait a bit for the egg to cool off, then we kill some fire zombies. Watch your back, me. Thanks, handsome. So, uh, Barry, what was it like being inside of Zombies in Spaceland? That's probably the best non-Treyarch Zombies map, and I love a good amusement park. Well, unfortunately, that's the one Willard Wyler movie we didn't get to go inside of. We started with Rave in the Redwoods. Oh, bummer. I bet Joe was scared shitless of the slasher. 
Well, that's the other thing. The Joe that was with us wasn't really Joe. It was some demonic imposter. He used Willard Wyler to get to us and then tricked us into killing Wyler in cold blood. Not one of my proudest moments looking back. Geez, that's fucking dark. Especially considering the guy who played Willard Wyler in Infinite Warfare died a while back. Damn rip to him, I guess. Anyways, I think we got enough napalm zombie kills now to get penetrating multi-kills. I knew keeping a sniper as my mule kick gun was a good idea. Rare mule kick W. Also just got myself the L4 Siege. Oh, the explosive mayhem I'm going to cause with this beauty. There we go, that should be enough. Now on to melee kills. This will be easy. Wish we had an insta-kill or something, so I didn't have to break my shield for this, though. It's not a big deal. Just go grab a new one. At least this isn't B04, where it costs money to get a new shield. I think that's all of them. Now we got to bring the egg back to the house to incubate it. Yeah, let's ride from Supply Depot, then Tank Factory later so we can get the Dragon Wings. Those will come in handy. I'd do anything to hear our Joe right now asking if we're talking about chicken wings. He's a goofy bastard, but he's our goofy bastard, damn it. Incubating the egg. We just got to wait a while now. What the? I'm trapped up here. Chill, dude. There's a hole by the toilet you can fall through. And grab the shit-soaked trophy while you're at it. Great. Now I'm going to need to take 100 baths when I get home. Fucking gross. Guys, look. The Valkyrie drone shocked the AC thingy. We got to go look for the code cylinder. Pretty sure it's on a timer, too. Let's put the dragon egg on hold for now. Damn, this step was always so confusing. How are we going to solve it without a no-nonsense guide? Simple. We use the Cronorium. As in the Cronorium.com, but we don't have cell phone service. Not exactly. You see, back when we were at Dare Eisen, I noticed the Cronorium just sitting on a table unguarded. And a book with unlimited knowledge on all known and unknown universes seemed pretty useful. So when nobody was looking, I grabbed it. I didn't want Monty knowing about it either. I think it'll hold the answers we seek. Wow, Barack, you really kept something that important a secret from the rest of us? Who cares? A magic book seems pretty useful right now. Does it say anything about getting us out of here? Not exactly. It seems like the pages are being written as we go along. It does mention the dial step, so let's set them to their proper numbers. Let's hope this actually works. I mean, if the website made by that British toothpick, Mr. Awful Waffles, can give us the answer, I'm pretty sure the actual book that has infinite wisdom can too. Actually, Milo has gotten pretty swole since he started hitting the gym. I'd watch your mouth, Barry. That worked. I got the code cylinder. Let's return to Hillary. All right, Hillary, time to enter the code. OK, so the code is Kronos, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Let's see. Password denied. Huh? Did you spell it wrong or something? Yeah, it's spelled with a K, not a C. I know that. I'm telling you it's not working. I'm sane here. Looks like you all are having a bit of trouble over there. Damn amateurs. Wow, did you call us just to insult our intelligence, or are you going to help us out any? Bill never told me his password, but he always said in case I needed to bypass Hillary's security protocols, that it was something close to his heart, whatever that means. Hope that's enough to go off of. Gee, real big help this guy is. Well, let's think for a minute. What kind of things does Bill Clinton love? Surely he didn't make the password Hillary. Password denied. Of course not. The Bill we know was an evil, traitorous son of a bitch before Dr. Monty removed his free will. Maybe try Shadow Man? He was a servant to the Apothecons, after all. Password denied. Damn it. We're going to be at this all day if we don't figure this out soon. Not to mention more zombies will likely be swarming the place again. Let me try something. Password accepted. Wait, how? What was the password? Well, I thought of the one thing Bill might have loved more than his wife, Monica. Wow, I'm impressed. That intellect of yours is actually coming in handy. So, Hillary, can you tell us how to get a power core? You have done well to bypass my security measures. However, I require further convincing. Bring me the trophies and I will test you further. Damn it. Well, just do as she says. I assume you all know what this entails. Unfortunately so. Man, I sure hope Joe and Donald are having a smoother time than we are. I can already imagine both Donald's massive egos clashing with one another. You know, Donnie, I gotta say, although it's not nearly as good as mine, you got some pretty nice hair. Thanks, Donald. Although anyone with eyes can see that my hair is leagues better than that wet raccoon on your head. Hey, whose hair are you calling a wet raccoon, you fucking Cheeto? Bitch, please! If I'm a Cheeto, you're the whole damn bag. You pumpkin, you look like a big round-ass pumpkin. You look like a giant bowling ball. Can't miss a strike with the Donald ball. He takes up the whole lane. I well, bet this takes self-deprecating humor to a you new level. No kidding. Yeah, say, right? what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate, chocolate chip. Well, of course it's chocolate, chocolate chip too. Hell yeah.
All right, so we just got to find those six trophies for the challenges, right? That's right, George. I shot the one down from the statue. Now I'm going to go drone, I mean dragon, strike the puddle. Everyone meet at the tank factory dragon so we can get our wings and grab the egg. Everyone on. I can't believe I'm going to get my very own badass baby dragon. Grab the egg, let's head back to the fountain and get the gauntlet of Siegfried. Even I got to admit, this is going to be epic. Also, we can get the locker open with one of the trophies inside now. Let's try this out. All right, little buddy, go fly around while Papa opens the safe. I'll take that. Just a couple more now, I think. I think all that's left now is the robot eye laser trap one. And there's the last trophy. Now to assemble them all at Dragon Command. Well done. Perhaps I was wrong to judge you so quickly earlier. After all, you are me. All right, all the trophies are here. Now comes the fun part. And by fun, I mean fucking miserable. Just be lucky Joe's not here. Otherwise, we'd really be screwed. Let's get to it, I guess. An enemy prototype has been discovered on base. Bring it to me for further analysis, quickly. Look out for a mangler with green eyes, everyone. Found him. Follow me, you big ugly bitch. We'll keep the zombies off you. He's almost to his destination. Here he comes. Specimen procured. Research on the hostile life form will begin immediately. Good. Perhaps if we can find out more about these manglers, we can use them for our own army. OK, what's next? It's the drop pod. Everyone head to Supply Depot. Good thing I've got the Mark III. This will be a cakewalk. Yeah, the L4 siege is really useful here, too. It seems our affinity for blowing shit up is shared across universes. I think we're done. Secure the interdimensional cargo that the pod was holding. Go get it, little buddy. All right, back to Hillary. What's the next menial task you have for us? A malfunctioning Valkyrie drone has been found nearby. Bring it back here so we may study the cause of this and remedy the issue in future drones created. There it is. Come on, little guy. You can't quite drone strike people if you're not working right. Don't let it get destroyed, unlike the Middle East stability. Ah, classic moment in our presidency. Look here. The wings that'll surely lead us to redemption. Now we can just fly over to Pack-a-Punch ourselves. Man, Michelle is never going to believe any of this. I hope she's doing OK. I'm so sorry, Barack. I'm sorry I ever gave you grief for spending time with your friends. I'd let you have all the time you want with them if I could just have another day with you. I never even got to thank George for his beautiful painting. You were always one of my dearest friends. I hope wherever you are, you're keeping Barack and the others safe. And I pray you all come back to us. I love you, Barack Obama, and I will never give up on you. All right, Hillary, we've done everything you've asked. Diffused your bombs, brought you your Valkyrie drone and your rogue mangler. Can you tell us where to get a power core now? Yeah, that bomb defusal took about 10 years off my lifespan. I've never been more worried about fucking something up in my life. Negative. There's a far more pressing matter at hand. An otherworldly anomaly has been scanned in the area. Bring it to me. What's the big deal? I mean, we're otherworldly anomalies, too. No, this one is different. I sense some familiarity with it. Locate it at once. Guess we don't have a choice. Everyone keep your eyes open for it. OK, if I was an anomaly, where would I be? Not seeing anything over on this side of the map. This must be the anomaly. Let's get you back to Dragon Command. Well, 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 if it isn't the presidential zomboys. <laughs> Wait a second, that voice. It can't be. Oh, but it is. I bet you never thought you'd see me again, did you, Barack? Wait, what's going on here? I'm back, George, that's what. <laughs> Wait a second, you're not George. Oh, I'm George, all right, but who the hell are you? Bill Clinton, how can this be? You're supposed to be in the house with Dr. Monty. Bill Clinton's alive, but that can't be. I always come back. <laughs> Different Bill than yours, Hussein. We know this guy. Tell us how you're here, or we'll destroy you. Oh, this is just too perfect. Three Obamas and two George Bushes. That fool Monty thought expelling my soul from my body would be enough to keep me away. I have traveled for eons across countless dimensions to get my revenge, and I have finally made it. <laughs> After I kill you, Donald is next. Uh, he can't actually kill us, can he? Bill, my beloved, is it really you? Join me at Dragon Command. Together we can destroy these fools. Well, that's not good. Hussein, can you stop her? She's programmed to take orders from Bill Clinton first and foremost. Damn it, we're out of options here. 
Hillary is here too? I have missed you, my dear. Talk about my lucky day. I will join you at once. Let's destroy these presidential zomboys. I have waited since Alcatraz for this day. Fuck, Bill, we won't let you stop us here. And Hillary, you bitch, we've defeated you before. We can do it again. It is over for you fools. Say goodbye to your precious lives. <laughs> Shit. Well, this isn't good. What do we do? Wait, what's going on? Did you really think I would let you destroy my subordinates here? Who are you calling a subordinate? I mean, at least she didn't call us slaves. Anomaly secured. Do not worry, Bill. This will only hurt a lot. Ah! Wow, Hillary, you actually saved us. Thanks a lot. I did this for myself. I knew that this was not the Bill Clinton who designed me. I will keep him contained for the time being while I conduct further analysis. I have one final task for you. It's something more personal. What is it, Hillary? Yeah, after saving us from that creep, Bill Clinton, we definitely owe you one. As indicated by the one you have been in contact with, known as Hussein, my memory banks have been corrupted. I don't remember much aside from my creator, Bill. I do not know what happened to him. A backup of my memory can be downloaded, but I need you four to go and physically do it. Help me, please. Enough games, Hillary. Give them the damn power core before I have you scrapped for parts. Now hold on, dude. Hillary has been pretty helpful thus far. We can do this one thing for her. She doesn't need her memories. She just needs to obey me. I've had enough of you. I don't care if you're me or not, but when someone helps you, you help them back. What do we need to do, Hillary? Head back to the house where the Pack-a-Punch machine is located. On the first floor, you will find a machine. Insert this hard drive inside to download the data. My memories will be stored inside. All right, easy enough. Come on, boys, let's fly. Wow, that was awesome. I actually flew through the air. I really wish we got to keep the dragon wings. I don't think Laura would approve of giant scaly wings on your back. Knowing her, she's probably come up with a million theories as to where we are right now. I just don't understand who would do such a thing, kidnapping the president, let alone him and three others. I mean, who could even be capable of something like this? Right, it must have been some foreign government. It's not like they could have just run off and disappeared the Secret Service would have found them by now. Well, I don't know if I trust in the Secret Service's ability to locate them. Ever since President Harris gave that speech a few days ago, they've stopped giving me updates. Don't they know the longer they're missing, the lower the chances of them being found are? I know it's tough, but the best thing we can do right now is trust that they are working diligently on bringing our men home. We cannot give up on them. I'm not saying we give up on them. I'm questioning how hard President Harris is really looking for them. Don't you think it's a little coincidental that she became president right after Joe was kidnapped? I don't know, Laura. She was the vice president. It only makes sense for her to assume the role at a time like this. Of course, it's not the fact that she's become president that worries me so. It's the fact that she became president after my George and the others mysteriously disappeared with absolutely no trace. I think something is fishy and you should too. They were last seen in your house for that matter. We don't know they were even there when they went missing. The car was gone and so were their shoes. Oh please, Michelle, what kind of amateur kidnapper wouldn't take the car and the shoes with them? Damn, good point. We should get a hold of Jill. Maybe she knows something more. Uh, I already tried. She's locked out of everything. Her access has all been revoked as she is no longer the first lady. Excuse me, what? They can't do that, can they? Well, by the sounds of it, they already have. I don't think that's normal. Now you've got me worrying. Oh, I know. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, inserting the hard drive. Now we just gotta wait for the download to finish. Enemies approaching from all directions. Lockdown initiated. Protect the hard drive. Well, shit. It's looking like Silent Hill out there with the fog and a bunch of manglers are headed our way. Me and you, George, let's watch from up here. Teamwork makes the dream work. Guess that means you and I have bottom floor duty, Barack. Don't let them get through. If we're going to go down fighting hordes of manglers, I might as well go out with the realest person I know, myself. Damn, that line was cold as hell. Anyways, this side is done, onto the other side of the room. I will say, it's been pretty cool fighting alongside our Ultimus counterparts, even if one is a nerd. Wait, who are you calling Ultimus? How do you know we're not the Primus Presidential Zomboys? What's wrong with being Ultimus? Besides, think about it. We've gone on adventures collecting other versions of our souls, while you guys are much less serious. We've been through some shit, you know? Now hold on, we've been through our fair share of turmoil too. Like George said earlier, my copy of Smash Brothers got broken. 
And there was that one time we bought Starfield thinking it was going to be great, but it ended up being mid. And we had to play Blood of the Dead once too. We have truly suffered. Wow, that's some real heartbreaking stuff right there. Now imagine having to live through Blood of the Dead and losing one of your best friends in the process. You had to survive real life, Blood of the Dead? Okay, Barry, I think we should let them be premise. Download complete. Retrieve the hard drive and return to me immediately. You heard her. Let's get out of here, boys. All right, Hillary, we've got your hard drive. Let's find out what memories you've lost. All right, Hillary, you got your memories back. Give them the power core and let them pass. I, I remember everything, including the truth about you, Hussein. Not another word out of you, you ignorant robot. You have no right to... Connection terminated. What is he so afraid of us finding out? Allow me to share what I have remembered. He was once like you four, a presidential zomboy. Man, this Modern Warfare 3 Zombies trailer sucks. Once again, Treyarch drops the ball. Uh-oh, bad news, guys. What is it, Joe? I thought I was pressing the ice cream button on my desk this whole time, when I was actually pressing the launch nukes button. Silly me. What? Joe, you Nimrod, call them off. Donald, didn't you pay attention to your briefs about the nuclear football? Once those nukes are in the air, there's no taking them down. Well, fuck. Guess we're gonna die. I'm sure Russia and China have already sent retaliatory strikes our way. At least the travesty that is MW3 zombies will never be released unto the world. Sorry, hope this doesn't inconvenience anyone's day. Joe, you have doomed the world to a nuclear apocalypse. Oh wait, the nukes are headed for the middle of the ocean. I forgot I had rerouted them just in case the Kraken ever emerged from the briny depths. We're saved. Joe. I'll launch another nuke right now, right towards China and Russia. And hell, send one to California while you're at it. What? Donnie was right. MW3 zombies can never release to the world. Joe, I'm still your president. Do it now. You're the boss. <laughs> Due to Barack's selfish actions in manipulating President Biden, America and the world as a whole was plunged into a nuclear hellscape. Even through all of the death, the man who was most responsible lived while the world around him burned. Ashamed of what he had done, he forsook the name Barack Obama and began going by Hussein. He and Bill Clinton, who also survived the initial blasts, made their way to Russia, which was one of the last places on earth with any semblance of civilization left and in desperate need of a leader. They would share the role of president of the remaining world and led efforts to rebuild humanity. Part of these efforts was the construction of me. Bill led the project to great success, and once again, a glimmer of hope could be seen in the eyes of the people. With my superior intelligence, rebuilding society was possible. The people's admiration for Bill grew, and soon he was named the sole leader of the colony. Hussein had been demoted to vice president, and this infuriated him. For years, Hussein stood in Bill's shadow until he couldn't take it anymore, and in cold blood, he ended Bill's life. Shortly after, a portal opened from the sky and dragons, the undead, and other indescribable horrors began pouring into our world. Hussein has ruled with an iron fist, trying desperately to keep the situation under control, killing civilians in the process. And that brings us here. You four know the truth and you can stop him. God damn, all of this because he didn't like the trailer for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Don't worry, Hillary, it just so happens that we were going to kill Hussein anyways, for our own reasons. His death will not only avenge your bill, but save the multiverse. Thank you so much for being such useful idiots. What the, Bill? That's right, Barry, old friend. You seem to have forgotten. I have control over electronics, and you delivered me straight to a supercomputer capable of so much destruction. <laughs> Damn it, this guy again. Why are you so hell-bent on these guys' destruction? Isn't there an intern somewhere that you should be banging? Quiet fool, if you knew what these two and dumbass Donald and Joe have done to me, you'd understand. Oh, it couldn't have been that bad. The only thing we are guilty of is apparently not letting him be a presidential zomboy, even though he never asked. And zombies is four players anyways. Well, geez, maybe we should invite our Bill to play more so he doesn't end up like this freak. You left out a crucial detail, George, you little worthless pissant. You destroyed me and made me look like a fool to my master, got my wife killed, and had my soul expelled from my body. I have suffered long enough. You brought all of that upon yourself. Now what do you plan on doing? Are you gonna act or just run your cocksucker some more?
While I would love nothing more than to destroy you right here and now, I have bigger fish to fry. I'll be taking this vessel elsewhere. Hopefully the next time we meet those other two idiots will be with you. Where the fuck do you think you're going? I have deposited the power core in front of you. Take it quickly. What the, you still have control? Leave me be, you wretched machine who dares to use my wife's name and voice. Thank you, Four, for your assistance, and if you ever get the chance, destroy this twisted echo of Bill. He makes a mockery of my creator's good name. I'll be seeing you again very soon, Barry and George. <laughs> That's it. Run away, you coward, just like Osama bin Laden. And don't come back. Just where's he going, though? I have a feeling Monty's perfect world is in serious jeopardy if Bill is left unchecked. But we have bigger things to worry about right now. We got the power core. We should help Hussein kill the dragon for the people of this universe. Then we confront him. George W. Bush, Dragon Slayer. It has a nice ring to it. All right, let's do it. But first, in case we don't make it, I love you guys. Okay, we get it, Andrew Garfield. Let's just go kick some dragon ass. I second that. Let's go, boys. Great. Back into another stinky sewer. All right, Hussein, we got you your power core. So you have. Thank you. You four turned out to be more useful than I initially thought. Now all that's left is to take care of our little dragon problem. That's not all that's left. We want to have a little talk with you afterwards. A little heart to heart with myself, huh? Very well. Let's take out this beast first, though. Because here it comes. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I knew this was coming, but damn, this thing is bigger than I thought. Don't get cold feet now. You're George W. Bush, Slayer of Dragons. Also, everyone remember to pull out your shields to protect you from the fire. Yeah, not sure how a shield protects you from literal flames, but I'm not complaining. Trust me, when you've been doing this for as long as we have, you stop questioning things. Enough of the chit chat. I will fire at the beast with my mech when it is stunned, shoot the exposed wound. We know we're the presidential zomboys. We've taken out dragons before, albeit digitally. He's hit. Barack, let's me and you give it a taste of our rockets. You don't have to tell me twice. There we go, that hurt him. Whether it's the original or Mark III, the Ray Gun Boys are also gonna show this dragon true pain. The Mark III is definitely better though. That's the only reason I let you get it from the box. You needed it, newbie. All right, one more good barrage of rockets and ray guns ought to finish it for good. Feel the pain of 1,000 Middle Eastern citizens drone striked. I think you meant to say drone struck, Barry? No time for grammar lessons, George. We just killed a fucking dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Did it really need to explode into a million pieces, though? Fucking gross. The dragon is dead. The city is saved. Now let's talk. Let me guess. Hillary told you the truth? Damn right she did. She told us that you are the reason this world is in the state it is. You killed innocent people. Yeah, I mean, I don't like Bill Clinton that much, but killing him out of petty jealousy? I loathe that I share your face. That's rich coming from you. Every single one of you is a war criminal. You crushed people's lives in foreign countries on a daily basis. The only difference between us is that I handle things myself instead of ordering other people around. Being present requires you to make tough choices, but you, you created this apocalypse. You're not president of the United States anymore. You're a king of nothing. Damn, I'm over here just casually dropping the coldest line ever. You got my respect. And the real kicker is that this isn't even your universe. You unknowingly stepped foot through the multiverse and decided to make a mess of things. Are you sure you're not a Republican? And again, this is all because of Modern Warfare 3 zombies. Hold on, another universe? What the fuck are you talking about? You're the ones invading my home. You're insane, but I'm not surprised you aren't aware. However, the Cronorium doesn't lie, and it tells me all about the Barack Obama from another universe that has taken refuge in Stalingrad. I've heard enough from you. When I am finished today, only one Barack Obama will remain. Now say your prayers. Everyone, watch each other's backs. It's four against one, so we should be able to take him down. I mean, technically, it's two against one. Georgie, save the jokes until after we beat him. Aim for the yellow panels on his mech. He just sent out those annoying metal meatballs. Watch out. Thanks for the call out, Barry. Sent them to the scrapyard. It's bad enough having to deal with Hussein, but he's got the zombies on his side, too. I have two manglers trying to gangbang me right now. Just keep your pants on, George, and you'll be fine. None of you will leave this city alive, even you, George. I can't believe you used to be a presidential zomboy. None of us here would ever betray our friends the way you did. Surely his suit's gotta be wearing down. It can't tank our packed rockets forever. I don't know, but I'm finally gonna put one of these monkeys to good use. 
Suck my black holes. Hold on, pause. Let's finish this. Eat lead from the most iconic zombie's gun. No, this is impossible. Do you really think this is over? Look at you, man. You can barely stand. There's no point in fighting anymore. I have to fight. If I don't, the people of this city, look around you, the city is gone. Hillary is gone too. Because of you, this world is never going to recover. That can't be, I, I can fix things. Bring them all back and start over. I can be president again. Come on, man, you're living in a delusion. Besides, you don't deserve to be president again. Remember the oath of office we took? You betrayed it completely. It's time to stand down. You think you will kill me now? I'm sorry, Barack. We do wish there was another way. This isn't just about your crimes here today. Your death was necessary from the start. I'm not sure if there's an afterlife or not, but maybe you'll be able to see Michelle again. Don't speak that name. You're just gonna block her from your memories too? Trust me, you can never forget Michelle Obama. Her smile, her kindness, her warmth. I can't wait for the day I see her again. But you're gonna have to accept the sickening fact that you were the one who took her from this world. Some things are forgotten. For a reason! Brock, no! Just kill him quick. Oh my God, Brock, no! Are you okay? The man's been shot, of course he's not okay. Both of you, stop with the petty squabbles. Barry, you're alive, oh thank goodness. I grew up on the south side of Chicago. Gonna take more than a bullet to kill me. But damn if it doesn't hurt like hell. Huh, I grew up on the north side. Guess you and I have our differences too. But for real, you took that bullet for me. That was really cool of you, thank you Barack. Don't mention it. <coughs> Any chance you can get us a way out? Yeah, he needs a doctor. Monty can probably help, even though I don't think he's got a medical license. I'm not sure, but I know one thing. We can't keep you lying around on your back like Walter White in the finale of Breaking Bad. What do you propose? We're kind of just stranded here. Let me consult the Cronorium. Interesting. What's it say, Barack? It says here that the summoning key is intrinsically tied to three other items. The elemental shard, apothecon blood, and a vessel to hold them. It is always seeking out these items. How is that useful? Unless I have the blood of an elder god or something? As you know, the Cronorium's pages change. And according to it, since we got split up, the Donalds and Joes have somehow acquired the elemental shard. The summoning key can seek it out and create a portal for us to meet with our friends and hopefully Dr. Monty. That's great, let's get right on that. Let me just secure Hussein's soul in the summoning key, then I'll open the portal. There's the portal. Hold on, Barack, we're gonna get you some help. Let's go, guys. Donnie and Joe, we're coming. Yep, still not used to teleporting around like that. My wounds, they're healed. Maybe it was the magic of the summoning key. Thank goodness, glad you're okay, Barry. Guys, you're alive. Oh shit, Donnie and Joe, it worked. The summoning key found you guys. You will not believe what we've had to go through to get here. Yeah, same here. Let's catch each other up. Finally, home sweet home. Wait a second, this isn't the house. Where the hell are we? Never mind where we are. How about who the hell are you two? And where are Barry and George? Good point, me. I don't see our Barack or George either. I swear Monty needs to recalibrate those portals or something. Monty, portals? What is this, some sort of sick joke? No, unfortunately not, Donald. This is about as serious as it gets. We're you from another dimension. And up until now, we were on a mission to secure Barack's soul. But I have a feeling that odd-looking fellow back in that foggy wasteland had something to do with us ending up here instead. I know this is a lot to process right now, but you have to believe us. You're me? I mean, sure, you look like me, but you don't sound a damn thing like me. I don't know. This guy I'm looking at is pretty handsome. He's got to be me. Thanks, me. You don't look too bad yourself. I don't buy it. Tell me something about myself that only I would know. Fine, that hidden safe behind a fake panel in your bedside table, it's really just a combination lock on a mini fridge where you keep a filet fish and a can of Diet Coke. 
for emergency purposes. Holy shit, you really are me. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Guys, remember, George and Barack are still missing. We need to start looking for them. I don't think they're here, Joey. Chances are, if we ended up here with you two, our George and Barack are somewhere with your George and Barack, or at least, I hope. Oh, well, that's just great. The Skinwalker has no idea. Listen, I'm gonna need some more answers. Not even an hour ago, my friends and I were all at 7-Eleven getting some ice cream for Joe. Sounds like you got it real rough, buddy. I just had to take the life of my alternate self after he was kidnapped by Division 9 and tested on. Division 9? Alternate self? You can't be talking about Zetsubo? These guys have got more screws loose than you, Joe. Talking about COD zombies like it's real life. Because it is, Donald. Group 935, the zombies, Dr. Monty, the Apothecons, all of it. In your world, it might just be a game, but across the multiverse, it is all too real. I think I'm gonna be sick. There's no time for that. We need to figure out exactly where we are and how on earth we're gonna get out of here. Look up there, what does that sign say? Camp Edward U.S. Joint Base. Hmm, doesn't ring a bell. Camp Edward, as in the Broken Arrow facility? No way. Then that means we're in Alpha Omega. Don't worry, gentlemen, I'm familiar with the map. This is one of my favorites. See, you just called it a map. It is a game. It's a game in our dimension too, but that doesn't change the fact that it's clearly real right here, right now. Get it through your thick skull, Donald. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I forgot I was just supposed to accept the fact that interdimensional travel and parallel realities exist. I don't know, Donnie. I kind of like the idea of having another Joe around. Although I'm still worried about George and Barry, I sure hope they're okay. Trust me, if they're together just like we are, then I'm sure they're all right. Those guys are tough as nails. Well, that's a little comforting. Thanks, Donnie. Or Donald, I guess. This whole alternate selves thing is doing my head in. This is still pretty confusing for us, too. We only ran into one alternate self at a time. And the last few times, we ended up having to take their lives. So working together is a whole new experience. I guess let's hope you guys don't change your minds. I wouldn't even consider it. If we killed you guys, we'd be in a shit ton of trouble. What, is there some sort of multiverse police that are gonna come and arrest you? Um, hello, Dr. Monty? I thought you said you guys played Black Ops 3? Damn it, Joe, this is exactly why you should have watched the lore video I put in the Discord. Well, it's too late now. Anyways, what could Dr. Monty possibly want with us? Let's just say you're very important to him, and there's no telling what he would do if something were to happen to you. Uh, okay, that's pretty fucking ominous. We've said too much already. Better to let Dr. Monty explain it himself when we get back to the house. Gentlemen, let's move out. We're gonna need to find some weapons before the zombies find us. Come on, how hard is it to find a damn weapon in a secret military base? They should be littered all over. It's not like the staff are using them. They're all zombies. I don't know, but I'm getting worried. Let's duck into this blue house before we get caught out on the street. Good idea, Donald Prime. Donald Prime? Stop saying stuff like that, Joe. Look, it'll all make sense when we get to the house. For now, let's just call you Donnie, and you're Joe, Joey, and we'll be Donald and Joe. Man, I don't care what you call me as long as we get out of here alive. Now let's see what's inside this house. I'm still not seeing any guns, but check out this creepy pyramid. I believe they call it the APD. Now that I think about it, it's been so long since I played this back in our home dimension. Darn, I could really use that knowledge right now. Don't worry, Joe. I'm sure some zombie slaying will get those brain juices flowing. Let's go out the back. I think I can see the box. Wow, it's a lot bigger in real life. That's what she said. Really, Joe? At a time like this? Sorry, couldn't help it. All right, time to take a crack at this thing. Never thought I'd be hitting the box in real life, but here goes nothing. A shotgun. Boy, do I feel safe with this. Bring it on zombies. Come and get the dawn. I also got a shotgun. I'd rather not start calling all the zombies over to us, though. Looks like they already found us. A couple followed us from the blue house. You two better be ready to defend yourselves. Ah! I did it. I killed a zombie. Excellent, Joey. Now just keep doing that and don't get eaten. So what's next? Assuming this dimension follows COD zombies' rules, we probably need to get the power on. There must be a lever here somewhere. The power switch, that's right. It should be in that building at the end of the cul-de-sac. Yep, it's here, turning it on. Oh crap, looks like it spawned in some dogs. Watch out, guys. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. These zombies are weak. They won't stay that way forever. Pretty soon we're gonna need to find the pack-a-punch. 
There's an open bunker back here behind the house. If Pap is anywhere, I'm guessing it's down there. I know this probably isn't the best time to be bringing it up, but I still technically never got my ice cream. If we make it out of this alive, I'll buy you all the ice cream you can eat. I'm going to hold you to that, Donnie. You have no clue how much you just put on the line. It's been so long since I last had ice cream, I've all but forgotten the taste. Is that from the dementia or the 115? When you're in our line of work, there are certain luxuries you're forced to give up. Your head would explode if I told you how long it's been since I last had McDonald's or even Burger King. Burger King? You mean in your world you eat that shit? Unless, of course, it's actually good over there. Oh, yeah, the ghost pepper whopper was something else. Gross, no. Are we sure this guy is actually me? Donnie, don't pretend like you hate Burger King now. Remember when you bought all that McDonald's and Wendy's and Burger King for that football team? No way, he did that in your universe, too. That was hilarious. Listen, what was I supposed to do? The kitchen staff were all gone because of the shutdown, and just because I got Burger King for them doesn't mean I like it. I found the ventilation system for the generator, turning it on. Oh no, the lights all just went dark and the fart zombies are back. Yeah. Did he just say fart zombies? It's a long story, just stay with the group and you'll be fine. They stink so bad, I take it back, I don't want smell of vision in zombies. Joey, come on, take this seriously. Maybe this tonic will clear my sinuses. I can barely breathe with all this gas in the air. It's really not that bad. Nothing is worse than the stench in that room in Siberia when Joe pissed himself. Oh, come on, man. Why would you tell them about that? I've seen this one before, Joe. Are you sure you actually peed your pants or did they pour water on you while you were napping? They've done it to me. No, he straight up pissed himself. I saw it happen. There's no denying it. System restored. Beginning facility ventilation. Finally, a break from the zombies. Once the facility ventilates, we should have access to the Pack-a-Punch. If I knew shooting flesh bags was on today's agenda, I would have worn my running shoes. My feet are getting sore already. Yeah, try running around a snowy medieval castle in dress shoes. Took everything I had not to have another Air Force One incident on those steps. Really sucked not having a thicker coat, too. Warning. Ventilation unsuccessful. Oh, fuck. That doesn't sound good. Multiple unit malfunctions detected. Repairs required. Repairs? What the hell are we supposed to repair? Damn, I never really thought I'd kick myself for quitting Black Ops 4 during its lifespan, but it quite literally could be saving our lives right now. Please, Other Joe, remember what we have to do. It's coming back, I remember it. We need to clear some vents on the houses outside. That sounds really stupid. Whatever, let's get on with it. The zombies are starting to come back. Just gotta turn this valve till all the green sludge goes away, and it should reactivate the fan. Perfect, three more. Found another one, this is disgusting. How did all this green goo even get in there? I bet it was from all the fart zombies. All that gas has gotta go somewhere. And they were stinking up that bunker pretty hard. Third one's clean, one more vent to go. Just found a part that looks like it's for the shield. Did anyone else find the other parts? I may have stashed a couple in my pockets for safekeeping. And it's a good thing I did because I just found the workbench upstairs in the greenhouse. Definitely gonna grab one to protect my back. This is amazing. It's just like the shield on classified. It's got the gun and everything. Here's the last fan. Once we clear this out, the generator should start working. Ventilation system operational. Nova 6 gas leak contained. Primary systems now online. Perfect. Now we just gotta find that good old pack. Well, it's not the pack a punch, but look at this. It's Ted. From transit? What the hell is that thing doing here? And why are you making me look at it? He's not an it. He's one of the best parts of transit. I still love that map, even after doing that Easter egg. Dude, we do not have time for this. We should be finding Pack-a-Punch, not drooling over this stupid android from the absolute dog shit map that is transit. Hey, watch your mouth. Transit is based in Red Pilled. It's an awesome map. Looks like not all of my intelligence is consistent across the multiverse. Yeah, more like all the stupidity ended up in your world. He's gotta be kidding, right? Joe, please tell me your Donald isn't actually like this. Unfortunately, no, he's as serious as the situation we're in right now. Finally, someone who appreciates transit like I do. It's like a scavenger hunt. How can that not be fun? Oh, I don't know. The shitty bus, lava, the denizens, the jet gun. Opening Pack-a-Punch, having to turn power off for the Maxis side Easter egg, parts despawning if you drop them in lava, the avocado. And not to mention the god-awful Easter egg song that is carrying just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. Listen, it's not my fault you two hate fun. I'm sick of you shitting on my favorite map, Joe. I always wish there was someone out there who loved transit like me. Oh my gosh, me too. Did we just become best friends? Maybe we did. Perhaps I should take you back to my home dimension and the two transit haters can stick together. Whoa, hey, wait a minute. You're not actually serious, are you? Of course I'm not serious. 
You think Dr. Monty would let that happen? I'm just saying it's nice to have someone actually appreciate some risk taking in zombies. Yeah, transit for the win. Also, you think this Dr. Minty guy is going to have ice cream at his house? That would be so awesome. Attention intruders, now you've done it. You've woke me up. Report immediately to operations and explain why I shouldn't turn every weapon in this base against you. One nation indivisible. I don't think he sounded too happy. If there's someone else here, maybe they know the way out. Do you think they'd even help us? Did you not hear what they just said about turning all the weapons on us? Hey, that robot voice clearly just called out to us. We're completely lost and have no idea where we should be going. We'd be stupid to ignore it. I agree with Donnie. Let's go see what this robot voice wants. What the? Is this what was speaking to us? I don't believe what I'm seeing. Is that really? Oh, that's him, all right. Zuck the Cuck himself. Thank you for the affectionate nickname, Donald J. Trump. Yes, it is I, Mark Zuckerberg. Or at least that was my name when I was but a mere human. Nowadays, I go by Zuckermore. But never mind that. Would you care to explain to me how exactly you appear to be in the company of not only yourself, but to President Joe Biden's. Well, we're not exactly from here. It's a whole bunch of time travel, interdimensional multiverse malarkey. Even if we tried to explain it, it probably wouldn't make any sense. The long and short of it is we ended up here by accident and now we're just trying to get home. Can you help us? Hold on, interdimensional travel? You didn't come out of the APD, did you? Not exactly. We jumped through a portal, but there was this guy who was really mad at us for some reason. And I think he did something to the portal, so we ended up here instead of where we were supposed to go. Wait, walk it back for a second. You asked if we came out of the APD. Does that mean that thing is some sort of transportation device? Well, that's what we were building it for until Director Musk had his accident. Director Musk? As in Elon Musk? You're telling me the CEO of Tesla is the director of Camp Edward? Not to mention the CEO of Facebook and Meta turned himself into a damn computer. I guess mixed reality just wasn't enough? I didn't choose this form. During Elon and I's cage match to the death, I succumbed. However, instead of leaving me to die, Elon cloned my brain and uploaded me to the network here in Camp Edward. Jesus, now that is necromancy. You said Elon had an accident. Does that mean he's dead? That's the thing, we don't know. Nobody has seen him since he entered the APD. Even though, as a computer, I couldn't in the first place, I'll never forget that night. Well, it looks like everything is ready. Tonight is the night. Zuckermore, prep the APD for human testing. Human testing? Director Musk, you can't be serious. You've been the only human in this facility since President Biden shut us down. Unless you mean you're planning on stepping in? What did I tell you about saying that name? That old crackpot shut us down because he didn't believe in my vision. But I will create the ultimate transportation device. I'm the richest man in the world. Working with the government was solely for diplomatic immunity. But soon we will begin a new era of history when I colonize Mars. Of course, Director Musk prepping the APD now. Excellent. Once I prove the APD works, we can begin relocating Camp Edward to Mars and commence colonization immediately. Please do be safe, Director Musk. There's no telling what could happen once you step in there. Relax, Zuckermore. I'll be fine. Besides, I'll be in constant contact with you via my earpiece. All right, open it up. Unlocking APD door. Please stand clear of all moving parts. My God, it's beautiful. Zuckermore, I'm going in now. If anything goes wrong, I want you to seal the APD, no matter what. But, Director Musk? No buts, Zuckermore. You're a computer. Do as I say. Besides, I trust my technology. Nothing will go wrong. Understood. Go forth into the unknown. Land of opportunity. I've always wanted to say this. One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. It worked! It actually worked! Zuckermore, can you hear me? Zuckermore. You read me? Come in, Zuckermore. Come in. Director Musk, I can't make out what you're saying. There's too much interference. Get out of there. Zuckermore! Hello, Zuckermore! Unbelievable. Nothing. So much for constant communication. I guess I'm on my own. Better take a look around here, wherever here is. What is that? Some sort of crystal? It looks like it holds immense power. This could be the key to teleportation. This feeling, it's unlike anything I've ever felt before. All this raw power in my hands. Wait, what's going on? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, the crystal transforming. Director Musk, I don't know what's going on in there, but I'm shutting it down like you said. I cannot risk whatever is in there getting out. I'm sorry, Director Musk.
I did what I was ordered to and sealed him inside. So you're telling me Elon Musk might still be in there? I really don't know. Even if I wanted to check, I obviously can't go in there. I have no physical form anymore. I had to seal him in immediately. If anything got out and managed to disable me, they'd have full control of the base. We'll fire it back up because we're going in. You mean you actually want to go inside that thing after hearing that? You got a better idea, Joey? Should we all just sit on our asses and wait for another portal to show up? Because that worked out real well the last time. No, but I'm not about to just jump in the first prototype teleporter I see. Mr. Zuckermore over here just got finished telling us about how he locked Elon Musk inside. You don't think the same thing could happen to us, moron? Hey, nobody calls my Joe a moron but me. Besides, who cares that he locked the door behind him? He probably came out the other side just fine. There's one more thing I need to tell you. Before I sealed the door shut, I heard Director Musk say something about a crystal and transforming. Whatever is in there, I don't think it's Elon anymore. I don't speak for the two geezers over there, but Joe and I here have fought some pretty freaky shit. I think we can handle it. We're the same guy, dumbass. If the two of you can do it, so can we. That's the spirit, Donnie. Same goes for you, Joey. I know you got that fire inside you. Thanks, Joe. It really means a lot coming from you or me. Uh... Well, if you four insist on entering the APD, I should at least give you a fighting chance. Your current weapons will likely be useless against whatever may be in there. If you look behind you, I am unlocking the Raygun Mark II frame cabinet. Oh, hell yeah. Unfortunately, these are only the frames. Oh, hell no. You must assemble the rest yourselves. However, once you do, these weapons will give you the power to face whatever may wait for you inside the APD. Ah, uh, great. Sure hope there aren't 83,000 stupid little Easter egg steps we gotta do to build this thing. Finally, I get to pack a punch my gun. I've always wanted to do this in real life. Damn, I still can't believe in this world Mark Zuckerberg became a computer. He said something about a cage match to the death. It's funny, in our world, they never ended up fighting. Looks like you dodged a pretty huge bullet. Look at what it did to this world. So let me get this straight, because we kind of glazed over it at first. You guys weren't just plucked out of your normal lives like we were. You guys are actually familiar with all this interdimensional shit. Sort of. We did lead normal lives once upon a time, but Dr. Monty called us on an important mission. We were hard at work saving the multiverse. We had just collected my alternate self soul and then... And then they killed our friend right in front of us. Wait, you guys had another person with you? He wasn't a president, but he was a damn real American hero. His name was Yamato, and I will never forget him. He helped us free our George from captivity at the hands of Division 9. And he's the reason we're even still alive. That sounds like a pretty good friend. Sorry for your loss, Joe. His sacrifice will not be in vain. My friends and I will complete our mission. Yeah, about that. What exactly is your mission? I know we're all buddy-buddy now, but when we first met, you were moments away from adding my friend to your kill list. Obviously, we can't tell you that. The implications it would have on the very fabric of reality could be catastrophic. What, two Joes and two Donalds stuck together in a world neither of them belong in isn't catastrophic enough? Come on, guys. How would you feel if we knew what was going on? but wouldn't tell you. Well, I would logically think there's probably a good reason for you not telling us, which there is, so stop asking. Fine. Don't tell us then. Man, I really miss Barack and George. I wonder how they're doing right now. Knowing George and his nerdy ass, he probably built a damn teleporter and got them out already. Wait, George's nerdy ass? Is George a big nerd in your world or something? Only like the biggest. Why is he not in your world? No, he like hates nerds. That's hilarious. I bet him and your George are getting along just fine. You know, Barry, whenever me, you and the others finally make it home, we should really take a long vacation. You mean whenever you, the others, and I finally make it home? What? Well, it's just that you said, whenever me, you, and the others, when the grammatically correct statement would have been you, the others, and I. Oh, give me a break. So on top of being a D&D &D nerd, you're a grammar nerd too? Fuck off. Listen here. You may be used to speaking at a lower intelligence level, but I won't let you sully the Bush name in this or any other universe. You I think we you should stop them? Ah, uh, what's the use? To John it's Kerry pretty clear that these ass. two have made their Don't feelings talk to for me each about other losing when you haven't I sure am glad we get along at least. Like you Say, what kind of music do you like? I'm looking for some new songs yeah, to add well, to my end of the year playlist. I don't know about you, but I'm a metalhead. You can never go wrong with some Metallica, Avenged Sevenfold, or Iron Maiden. It's such a diverse genre. Yeah, that's totally different than what I'm used to, but I like the Avenged Sevenfold songs and zombies, so I'll give some of their other stuff a listen. Oh yeah, bro. Well, maybe not. But hey, if your Obama loves drone strikes, I'm sure him and ours will get along swimmingly. Oh, yes. They don't call him Obama for nothing. Glad to see that's consistent across worlds. 
Barack just wouldn't be the same without his killer instinct. I wonder just how different is your world from ours? Well, I don't know how it happened in your world, but in ours, Dr. Sleep over here managed to rig the election. I did not rig anything. You're still as salty as the day you lost. I know the feeling. Something similar happened in my world. Although as much as it still pisses me off, Sleeping Beauty has actually become a pretty good friend of mine. No kidding. Although sadly, I'm gonna have to boot Joe out of office here come 2024. Even though we've been through a lot together, this guy really has no clue how to run a country. Oh shit, guys, I just realized I'm supposed to be running the country right now. Don't worry about it, Joey. I'm sure our Kamalas are taking care of the country. Well, shit, we might not even have a world to go back to with that witch in charge. To be honest, I hadn't even really thought about it. But yeah, our world is probably pretty screwed up too. Looks like we're gonna really have to make America great again when we get back. I think you guys are overreacting just a bit. For real. I'm sure the country is just fine. I just hope our wives are okay. I just can't believe it took our husbands disappearing to finally get us all together. Well, to get most of us together, that is. Uh, Miss Melania, the phone is for you. It's from Michelle Obama. Maybe it has something to do with your husband's disappearance. If it is of the Donald, let it go to the ring. I finally can enjoy some peace and quiet. Beside, Donald is probably just on another island, like the one he used to go to with his friend Jeff. Anyways, tell us about the last time you saw Joe and the boys. Were they acting strangely? No stranger than usual, I guess. The last time I spoke to them, Donald and Joe had just arrived and they were getting set up to have a sleepover and probably play video games all night. Do you think maybe they got into a fight online and it escalated to real life? I doubt it. I think they mostly just played together, but I guess you never know. I told Joe those video games were no good. They should stick to the good old classics like checkers or shuffleboard. They're not in the retirement home yet, Jill, even though your husband probably should be instead of being the president. Excuse me, what do you mean by that? I just mean no president went missing when my George was in office, that's all. Yeah, well, you know what did go missing while he was in office? Quit fighting, you two. They might finally have an update. Let's hope it's some good news. Thank you for tuning into SHRB News. I'm Jessica Taylor. Tonight, we have an exclusive interview with someone who claims to know the whereabouts of President Joe Biden. He has requested to keep his identity a secret, only revealing the name Sam. Here he is now. Citizens of the United States, I come to you now in our time of uncertainty to tell you the truth. Although I may have lied about knowing the location of President Biden, what I do know is this. The current president of the United States is not looking for Joe. They have no intention of finding him. She is using his disappearance to seize control of the government, just like- All right. We are very sorry for that. What the hell kind it of new like station is this? Of a Do they not interview. vet the people they Again, interview? I very much apologize well, this is for just that. great. Now, now people Melody are going to start crafting weather. all kinds of conspiracy theories. To be fair, he isn't technically wrong. You did call off the search for the president. I didn't ask for your opinion, Agent Hughes. We might not be formally looking for him, but we still need to figure out where he is so we make sure he cannot return. Of course, Madam President. So these are the ray guns that are supposed to be able to take down whatever's in the APD? I still don't know if I trust this Zuckerberg, even if he did tell us how to build these. I'm still not 100% convinced this isn't all a dream. Well, if it is, then it just turned into an awesome dream. My ray gun shoots explosives. This is so cool. I'm right there with you. Shooting a ray gun in real life has got to be one of the coolest experiences of all time. Too bad we couldn't have ended up somewhere cooler, though, like in Morgue City. Funny enough, I've actually been there. Had to make a quick pit stop to pick up the summoning key. You've been to Shadows of Evil? That's like my favorite map. Still can't get over the fact that you're a transit hater. It kills me a little bit every day. Have you been to transit, Donald? Well, no, I guess kind of. Back when I briefly had control of the ether, there was a group of four absolute idiots there. I tried to get them to listen to me, but they ended up screwing everything up and helping Bill Clinton take control of the ether. Donald Trump in control of the ether? Now that's a world I could live in. I would have made the ether great again, and they could really use it. It's gonna really suck to have to wait till COD 2024 to have some zombies action again. Well, they're putting zombies in Modern Warfare 3, so I guess we'll have to wait and see if it's good or not. Wait, Modern Warfare 3, that game is like 12 years old. The new one, it's called Modern Warfare 3. Did you guys not know that? How long have you been gone? Damn, I guess I haven't really thought about that. 
I don't really remember what day it was when we left our home dimension. Well, for us, it was Friday the 13th of October, one week away from the release of Spider-Man 2. Wait, seriously? That's like months away for us. So you're telling me we've been missing for months? Maybe. We might just be from the future. For all we know, you could get back and have only been gone for a few minutes. What if we get back and it's been years since we left and everyone we know is dead? That would be horrible. Donnie, what if that happens to us too? I don't think that's gonna happen. But what if it does? I don't want everyone to be dead. Me neither. For the love of God, stop making that noise. Let's just get back to that oversized calculator and get that APD open. I see you four have constructed the elemental ray guns. Congratulations, I wasn't sure you all had it in you. Yeah, and no thanks to you. That shit was so painful, we had to do it off screen. Off what screen? Don't worry about it, Joey, you wouldn't understand. We built the ray guns, we're ready. Open up that APD so we can get home. You don't understand, it's not that easy. Aren't you a computer? Can't you just go beep, beep, boop and open it for us? I admire your sense of humor, President Biden, but no. If you want to open the APD, then you'll need to punch TVs with the galvic knuckles, set a bunch of clocks, escort a red Nova crawler, shoot a bunch of paintings, charge up a power cord. Do we look like Mr. Fucking Raffle waffles to you. We're not here to do your stupid Easter egg. We're not even supposed to be here in the first place. Now open the damn APD before I pour sweet baby rays into every single USB port on that computer. I won't do it. You must complete the objectives before I unlock the APD. Oh, come on. There's got to be some kind of presidential override. You're just a damn computer, Cuckermore. Open the pyramid! Sorry, but you lack sufficient credentials to make such a request. Although you may have been the president in the past, your access was immediately removed upon President Biden's election. Well then, it's a good thing that we're here. I'll let you do the honors, me. Oh, dang it, I like this map. I wanted to do all the Easter egg steps. Jesus Christ, will one of you just tell this Game Boy to unlock the damn APD already? I want to get the fuck out of here. Seriously, let's leave before he can sell all our data. All right, all right, I'll do it. Initiate APD manual override, clearance code. Chocolate, chocolate chip. Clearance code accepted. Initiating manual APD override. Please proceed downstairs to open the door. See, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Just go already. Well, that's both extremely cool and extremely horrifying. What is? Back home, all my passwords are chocolate, chocolate chip. And it looks like that's true in this universe too. Is that your password too? Uh, I feel like you already know the answer to that. Okay, when we get home, we are changing all of your passwords. Do you even understand how bad that is? That's worse than George being on a pirated copy of Windows. I mean, I run a pirated copy of Windows and I'm just fine. I bet this Zuckermore fella's on a pirated copy too. You think Elon pays for that shit? Now, knowing Zuckerberg, he's probably running on Linux or some nerdy shit. Here it is, the APD control. Now we just need to activate it and be ready for whatever comes out. This is it. End of the line. We're ready, Zuckermore. Opening the APD. Unlocking APD door. Please stand clear of all moving parts. Thank God. Let's hope this goes smoothly and we can just step in. Finally, someone has reopened the APD. I'm free. Holy shit. Is that, is that Elon Musk? My God, what happened to him? Elon, can you hear us? Elon Musk was my mortal name. It cannot encompass what I am now. If you must call me something before I destroy you, call me X. X? Like just the letter X? That's a stupid fucking name. Yeah, that's what he changed the name of Twitter to in our world. And it's the stupidest thing you can imagine. Truth Social on top. Yeah, right. Nobody uses Truth Social in our world. I doubt they do in yours. Enough talking. It's time I wipe you all out of existence. Holy shit, guys. He's charging us. What do we do? I don't know. These ray guns feel like damn pea shooters against this guy. Zuckermore, give us a hand here, please. I can't let him destroy the base. Keep him occupied. If you can buy me enough time, I should be able to connect the APD to a holding facility we have in Washington. Man, could this day get any worse? Well, it could definitely get a lot better. I still haven't gotten any ice cream. Will you shut up about the ice cream? Don't tell my Joe to shut up. But yeah, quit it with the ice cream, Joe. Do you mean Joe or Joey because I wasn't saying anything? Joe, Joey, whatever. You know what I meant? Still, to avoid confusion. Will you all just shut up and die? The only one dying tonight is you, Elon. Yeah, you and your stupid plan to colonize Mars. I told you to call me X. And I don't care about Mars anymore with this power. Soon I will colonize the entire multiverse. How does he know about the multiverse? We've got to stop him. I've got it. The APD is linked. Get Director Musk back to the APD and get him inside. Even though they can't damage him, those ray guns should have enough power to push him back. Come on, guys. Everyone blast him. We need to push him back into the APD. No, stop. What are you doing? Something that should have been done a long time ago. This is for all those shitty emeralds from your dad's mine. And for all the people that have been hit by self-driving cars, that technology is not ready yet. No, you can't do this. Zuckerberg, I will have my revenge. Rest easy, Presidents. Director Musk is now safely contained in a broken arrow facility in Washington State. He's their problem now. We won, because that's what Americans do. We win.
Great, now how are we supposed to go home? You said it was linked to another Broken Arrow facility? I don't want it to take me there, I want it to take us home. I don't think I can send you to your home dimension, but I should be able to send you back to where you came from. Just give me a moment to recalibrate the parameters. That's probably a good thing. Maybe Barack and George had the same idea and now they're waiting for us there. Also, hey look, a crystal on the ground. Ah yes, the elemental shard. This must be what caused Elon's transformation. What is it? Nothing important. It looks like coming in contact with Elon drained it of most its power, making it safe to hold. I'm gonna keep this thing with me. I think it might come in handy later. Do whatever you want with it. But if it screws up our teleportation, I am not gonna be happy. All right, it's done. The APD should take you back to wherever you teleported from. I can't guarantee it'll take you to the same spot, but it should at least be able to bring you to the right dimension. If I could feel emotions, I would say I'm sad to see you go, but just like when I was a human, it is not something I am capable of. Well, we're sorry about what happened to Elon. I never knew his lust for power could drive him so far. I'm not sorry for anything. That guy had it coming. I mean, hey, now with Elon gone, I guess there won't be much competition against threads. No, unfortunately, even in this world, nobody uses threads. Looks like the only thing left to do is enter the APD. Goodbye, Zuckermore. Thank you for helping us escape. Goodbye, Presidents. I hope you are able to get home safely, and God save America. Oh great, where the hell are we now? It kind of looks like... Alcatraz, no! I have horrible memories here. It's true, our group has been through hell in this place. It seems only fitting that we would end up here once again. You're telling me we're in blood of the dead? I knew that fucking crystal would screw up the teleport. Why do you need that damn thing anyway? Guys, please, can we not fight right now? Holy crap, they're alive. Oh shit, Donnie and Joe, it worked. The summoning key found you guys. You will not believe what we've had to go through to get here. I'm so happy you guys are okay. Yeah, same here. Let's catch each other up. Well, we just got out of the twisted hellhole that was Alpha Omega. But get this, in that dimension, Mark Zuckerberg was the computer. And Elon Musk was the avocado. That sounds crazy similar to what we just experienced. We were in Stalingrad, and Hillary was the computer. Bill was there too, and he was seriously messed up. And then there was a third Barack, but he was nothing but a broken shell of a man. We did what we had to do. Yeah, well, we were in Alpha Omega, so I think we had it worse. Oh, and get this, this other Joe likes transit. Congrats, Donald. You finally found someone to enjoy that shit map with you. I left my Hello Kitty laptop at home, but if I had it with me, I'd be down to play. Well, you know I always keep that MF thing on me. What the fuck? I'll admit I'm surprised. You eight are stronger than I thought. You've gotta be kidding me. This creep again? You again? Just who the fuck are you and what is your deal with us? You really haven't figured it out yet? Maybe this will help jog your memory. <laughs> oh shit, somehow Dark Brandon returned. Wait a sec, that was a Star Wars reference. What, I have no idea what you're talking about. This cannot be possible. How can you be alive? I killed you with my ultimate Biden blast. Did you really think your puny Biden blast could defeat me? You all have a lot to learn. Are you telling me you guys know who this is? He's some sort of evil Joe. He infiltrated our group and tried to kill us. We fought him and won, or at least we thought. So this whole time, all of this shit was orchestrated by a Joe? Man, this day keeps getting weirder and weirder. Jeez, I didn't know I was capable of all this. So what, you're just an evil Joe doppelganger hungry for blood? I am no doppelganger. I am the original Joe Biden. What the fuck are you talking about? Dr. Monty told us that these four are the originals. The originals? Like original presidents? So you are clones of us. No, we are not. Damn it, this is why I wanted to wait for Dr. Monty to tell you. Dr. Monty lied. Before your pathetic worlds, there was only one. Mine. Like you, I had friends. Dr. Monty sent us on a mission at Alcatraz Island. One by one, I watched them die. Until only I remained. I begged and begged Dr. Monty to save me. Please. Monty, the others are dead. We failed you. Don't leave me here to die. But he didn't come. I spent what felt like an eternity stuck on the island, in my own purgatory. Eventually, I discovered a secret laboratory and I got to work. I constructed the dark mechanism. And through my death, I entered the dark ether. Its secrets and powers bent to my will. And I became what I am now. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your friends, but plucking us out of our universe was really mean. Really mean? You mean fucking despicable. This guy has tried to kill us multiple times now, and he has the audacity to tell us a sob story? I mean, I kinda get where he's coming from. If I watched these guys die, I'd probably do something drastic too. Do something drastic? Did you learn nothing from Hussein? 
He nuked the entire world and became a vindictive monster. Man, this Hussein guy sounds pretty mean too. So are you going to kill us or not? I will give you one chance to make your choice. Die by my hand or join me in taking down Dr. Monty. Well, that's kind of a lose-lose situation, isn't it? Why the hell would we want to take him down? He's our best way out of here. We don't want to take sides in your petty squabble. We just want to go home to our families. I couldn't agree with me more. Your grudge is hardly our concern. What gives you the right to take us away from our worlds and then threaten to kill us to satisfy your vendetta? If you kill us, you're no better than Monty for leaving you to die. In fact, you're even worse. If you won't join me, then you will die. Oh my God, we are fucked. Well, GG, I guess. That is quite enough out of you, Dark Brandon. Monty, you coward. It may have been eons since you left me to die, but I never forgot. Clearly this has gone too far. I suppose we'll have to handle this face to face. I'm bringing you all to the house. I am never going to complain about having to fly somewhere again. Teleportation makes me sick and it takes three times to get to the right place. Wow, so this is the house, huh? Nice place you got here, Monty. The real life house, this is crazy. Wait, does that mean that- Oh no, don't say it. Where's my little Sammy Bear? I knew this was going to happen. Luckily, she's far away from here. Oh hey, we can finally hear him. Well, since you're all here, I figured I might as well lay it all out for you. Enough games. If you're going to bring me to your realm, you might as well show yourself. Hello everyone. So good to see you. Damn, Monty, you look different. Well, video game graphics just don't do me justice. You kind of look like the guy from A Clockwork Orange. Yeah, I get that a lot. I grow tired of your jokes. I have waited too long for this. Monty, I will have my revenge. Come on, Monty, finish this loser off already. Very well. You've given me no choice, old friend. The Dark Aether has had its hold on you for long enough. No! You can't do this to me! I'm not gonna kill you. Just hold still. No! Welcome back, President Biden. I can't believe it. I've spent so many years consumed by darkness, I forgot who I really was. Wait, so you just cleansed him? I thought you were gonna kill him. Donald, that's me you're talking about. Why would you want to kill him? That's me, too. You didn't want Monty to kill him, did you, Donnie? No, Joe. So does this mean we can call you Light Brandon now? Just Joe is fine, thanks. I don't blame your hostility. I did a terrible thing to you all, especially you, Joe, when I impersonated you. But even though I had ulterior motives, I must admit, during the moments when I was with your friends, it was the most fun I'd had since I lost my George Donald and Barack. I can never forget you trying to riz up Pam Greer and Shaolin Shuffle. I'm sorry, too. I bear some responsibility for that, sending you to Alcatraz. I should have known your limits. I would like to give you a second chance here with me in my perfect world. I'd like that. I was wondering though, is there any way you can bring my friends back? I'm sorry, but that really is impossible. Don't worry, we'll be your friends. We will? Donald! I mean, yeah, sure we will. You'd really be my friends even after everything I did to you? Damn right we will. This is a new beginning for all of us. I'd love to say the same, Joe, uh, but my friends and I should really be getting home. Ah, yes. Now on to the matter of you four. Yeah, I think we're really owed an explanation here. After all you've been through, I think that's the least I could do. You may not have been the first universe like I had your friends here initially believe, but your world is very important. No Apothecans, Element 115, or hordes of zombies. It's all been confined to the story of a video game. I'm very proud of having kept it that way for this long. So are you like... God? Well, some people may see me that way, but I've always seen myself as an omnipotent watcher. I keep realities in check, but rarely interfere. Hold on, so you let 9-11 happen? Wow, dick move. Trust me, in the worlds in which I did prevent it, it led to something far worse. Never assume you know what's best for the world. Yeah, I guess I should have learned that from Back to the Future. So does that technically make us Primus? Or are we supposed to be Ultimus? We already went over this with your Barry and George. We're the ones out collecting souls and putting ourselves in danger every day. Clearly, we're Primus. I won't argue with that. What do you think, Dr. Minty? Come on now. Don't get hung up on labels. You're all zombie-slaying patriots at the end of the day. So what happens now? Is it finally time for us to go home? Yes, it is. But unfortunately, with the whole keeping your world pure thing, I must strip you of your memories of today. You will return to the day of your disappearance from your own world and forget everything you've learned. Wait, 
You mean we won't remember any of this? This is the only way. I cannot risk your universe's stability. Holding on to that kind of knowledge could be catastrophic. I understand. Before we go, can we at least have a moment to say goodbye to ourselves? Of course. You guys deserve a proper send-off. George, I know we've had our differences, but at the end of the day, we are the same. We share the same experiences, tragedies, and triumphs. No matter what, we both bleed bush. I know you don't like D&D, but I want you to have my lucky D20. If not to use it, then to remember me by. Wow. I mean, I still think you're a nerd, but this is super thoughtful. I'll cherish this forever. I'm glad I got to meet you. You do the Bush name proud. And the way you handled yourself today, I know Dad would be proud of you. I never told you this, but I met Dad in another universe. If he could meet you, I know he'd cry tears of joy seeing the hero you've become. I know I told you this earlier, but seriously, thank you for what you did back in Stalingrad. You very well may have saved my life. Don't mention it. I know you would have done the same for me in a heartbeat. Besides, you have a Michelle to get back to. Joe, I'm sorry we never got a chance to share an ice cream cone. Trust me, me. Nothing would have made me happier than having a laugh over a couple scoops of chocolate chocolate chip. Of course, you'd be invited too, Original Joe. Really? I do love me some chocolate chocolate chip. Maybe the two of us can do that someday. Donald, I know I gave you a hard time for not telling me what was going on, but I never understood how high the stakes were. You carry the weight of saving the multiverse while I have the luxury of gaming with my friends. You are so much more than just the average Trump, and I could not be more honored than to have suffered through Alpha Omega with you. It is a burden I must shoulder, but even if we're not gaming together, I have my friends as well. We fight to keep the peace in universes like yours. And now that I've seen firsthand the kind of people we're protecting, I know in my heart that I'm doing the right thing. Well, although we won't remember our gratitude, I take solace in knowing you guys will. We can never thank you enough. Well, I suppose that just about wraps it up. When you guys are ready, this portal will finally take you back to your home dimension. Guys, before we go in there and forget all of this ever happened, I just wanted to say one thing to you three. We're always listening, Donnie. Just promise you won't make fun of me? Come on, Donald. Now would hardly be the time to do that. All right. I love you guys. I love you too, man. I love you like a brother, Donnie. You have no idea how long I've waited to hear you say that. I love you guys so much, I could never ask for better friends. Me neither. Okay, Monty, we're ready. Farewell, Presidential Zomboys. You four still have many fond memories to make, together. Let's recap a bit, shall we? You four brought me the summoning key, along with the souls of yourselves, after defeating Dark Brandon with your interdimensional counterparts. You prevented the collapse of the multiverse and had earned a long overdue rest from the evils you had faced thus far. Of course, you had questions for me. All right, Doc, we've done all your dirty work. Now mind telling us why all of this has happened to us why are we so important out of all the people in human history? Why four U.S. presidents? Donald's right. It feels like you haven't told us everything. Like I told you before, you really are special. I didn't just pull your names out of a bloody hat. At some point in your lives, your souls were touched by the ether, and the consequences of that have been immense. That is why the presidential Zomboys exist in every universe. But none are quite like you four. Touched by the ether? I sure didn't consent to something like that. Well, in any case, we're ready to be done with all of this madness. Our families back home must be worried sick. There's still the matter of Obama's soul that needs to be taken care of. We took care of that already. When we were split up, me, Barry, and our alternate selves wound up in Stalingrad, where we found the other Obama. Oh, really? Well, that's great news. I suppose that's all then. The only thing left is to send you four home. Tomorrow you can finally return to your dimension. Ah, shucks, I sure am going to miss you guys. Same here, Light Brandon. You're the most handsome guy I've ever known. Well, that's good to hear, Monty, but I should probably warn you about something. When we were at Stalingrad, Bill was there. Did somebody say Bill? Bill, you evil bastard. Thought you'd get revenge on us, did you? Revenge? I am incapable of such desires. My master hasn't allowed me such motivations. Then why were you at Stalingrad, up to your old tricks again? Barack and George wouldn't lie about that. I have no clue what you're on about. 
I've been in the house this whole time, awaiting Monty's instructions. Bill's right. I haven't let him out of my sight. And he has no soul either. He is physically unable to act on his own. Barack, George, you're sure it was Bill you saw? There was no mistaking his voice. He wasn't in his physical form, though. He was some sort of anomaly floating around. He escaped and didn't make it clear where he was going, but he's hell-bent on taking you down. I see. Well, if what you're saying is true, then we must be on our guard. I'm not sure how exactly Bill's soul is existing outside his physical form, but surely it won't be able to find its way here. Should I do anything different, Master? No, it's fine. Just be cautious, everyone. Between you and our Joe 1.0 over here, we should manage. No way is he gonna get past me. All right, well, can we go to bed now? It's been a hell of a day and I'm pooped. Yeah, I'm getting sleepy too. Saving the multiverse takes a lot out of a guy. Joe, when are you not sleepy? Yes, very well. Get some rest, you four. Tomorrow will be a big day for you. This is it, guys. Tomorrow we finally go home to our families. Well, let's get some shut-eye then. Good night, everybody. Things were mostly going according to plan. However, Bill just had to go and balls everything up. He was easily susceptible to outside forces. Please, you must help me. Who, who's there? Follow my voice. Only together can we prevent the destruction of your world. You see, Bill was without a soul. Perhaps not my best plan instead of just wiping him from existence, but that's just how it is. I hear you, but where are you? Just a little closer, down the stairs, William. And of course, we left the most powerful object in this or any other universe just lying on the fucking table. I don't see you. In here, my old friend. Inside the summoning key? I don't understand. Right behind you. Ah! Somehow, someway, the evilness in Bill's soul made its way to my perfect world. And of course, he had one thing on his mind, revenge. Finally, I meet you face to face. I hope I've been a good pawn for you, my lord. You have done good, Bill. All of the years of dedication from you have finally paid off. You have truly redeemed yourself after your numerous failings. Oh, thank you, my lord. What is next? Can we finally crush those presidential zomboids? Patience, Bill. One victory at a time. I brought you here, allowed you to reclaim your body. Is that not enough for the time being? Of course, Master. I am grateful for the gifts you have given me. I just can't contain my excitement, finally having my revenge. Our revenge, Mr. President. Let us head out and show Monty what we think of his perfect world. At once, my lord. Those fools will know the true meaning of fear. <laughs> The thought of that perverted creep slick willy and the shadow man with his tentacles yucking it up in my basement makes my skin crawl. But either way, they had the summoning key and of course they used it to summon the bloody apothecons. Dimensions are merging. The undead have risen and I can't stop it. Not on my own. So you see, everything has gone to shit. And even though you four should have been on your way home right about now, I fear you are the best chance at setting things right. But I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It's a fucking shit show. For fuck's sake. Just when we were so close to leaving this madness behind. Oh my lord, a giant scary monster. Please don't eat me. Don't worry, Joe. Fortunately for us, he was just hungry for a pack-a-punch machine. Well, that's not much better, Barack. We kind of need that to survive. What exactly is this place anyways? It didn't look like this when we got here. So much for a perfect world. Like I said earlier, the dimensions are merging, Joe. You will come across locations familiar to you, I'm sure. This is just the beginning, though. If the Shadow Man and his cronies succeed, the entire multiverse will collapse. Well, that sounds just swell. So, gentlemen, you ready for one last zombie slaying adventure? We've made it this far, we can do this. I love the enthusiasm, Donald. I do hope you don't lose that fighting spirit as our hordes of zombies and Apothecon army tear you to shreds. <laughs> Bill, you bastard, where are you? Once again, I have ascended. My master has given me a great role in his army. I'll take great pleasure in destroying you four once and for all. Never gonna happen, you creep. Guys, we gotta take back all the corruption engines if we want a fighting chance. Ah! Uh... 
What are those creepy black creatures? Apothecan Furies. Just one example of the horrors the Shadow Man has at his disposal. Did you say Apothecan Furries? They'd get along well with my son, Hunter. Jesus, Joe. When we go home, you need to give your son a good talking to. Well, we better get a move on before we get overrun out here. Guys, follow me. Do you even know where you're going, Joe? Oh, shit. Who thought that was gonna kill me? Speak for yourself, George. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, shit, I remember this place. This is that jungle where I got the baby gun. And also, unfortunately, where Kamala and Pence got stuck in that temporal loop. At least they have each other. Love blooms in the craziest places, I guess. But I do wish we could have saved them. No point in getting caught up in the past. Let's move. Barack Obama, 44th President of the United States. Why do you fight so hard for these three? What the? Is that the Shadow Man? Get out of my head, you creepy fuck. Embrace the chaos, Barry. It is not too late to join us. I will never betray my brothers. Damn, Joe, you really had to bring us to the side that didn't have the mystery box? Ah, stop your bitching, Donnie. Just buy a gun off the wall or something. I did buy one, and it was the shitty Elkar 9. But we need more serious firepower against these overwhelming odds. All right, you two. This will be the final one for old time's sake. <clears throat> stop with the petty squabbles. I'll miss your iconic catchphrase, George. Well, if these two don't stop their back and forth presidential debate level arguments, I may have to bust it out again. Go forth our parasites. Destroy the presidential zomboys once and for all. Ah! Scary killer wasps. And I forgot my bug zapper back home. Joe, just shoot the damn things. All right, that's the last of them for now. Let's get power restored in this area. Hill, why have you not taken them out yet? We stand to lose everything if we do not stop them here and now. I apologize, my lord. They proved too much for our parasites to handle. I will spend a century groveling at your feet, begging for forgiveness for my insolence. My god, Bill is such a simp for the Shadow Man. Anyways, corruption engine done, let's head out. I just realized this is the low gravity room from that castle. Seems like our past adventures have come back to haunt us. I forget you've never played Revelations, Joe. Yes, this place is a twisted amalgamation of various locations that the ether has corrupted. For example, now we're in Kino der Toten. I remember this place well from when we played together and I lagged out. Good times. That was right after we got Joe back and defeated Dark Brandon for the first time. And George had to play Dead Ops Arcade by himself. I wish we could go back to when his shitter net was the extent of our problems before all this multiverse chicanery. Donald, did you just say chicanery? You're starting to sound like Chuck McGill. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Gus Fring. Let's get a move on. I really don't want to spend any more time in the best zombies map of all time, as a certain YouTuber once put it. If I'm remembering correctly, I think next is Verrucked. I'm glad we never had to stay at this creepy place. I think I'd wet myself being stuck in this asylum for very long. Heads up, boys. Found another corruption engine. Everyone group up. Eat lead, you motherfuckers! I'm gonna keep you from getting over here like how I kept Mexicans from coming into the United States. Jeez, Donald, calm the hell down. Besides, didn't you learn from Yamato that immigrants are good for the country? I mean, if he had made it to America, we would have gained a true patriot. Joe, I'm talking about illegal immigrants. I know you don't care since you have an open border policy, but don't compare Yamato to the lawless bunch you've let invade our country. Now is definitely not the time for policy debate, you two. Besides, that wound is still fresh with Yamato. Let's not desecrate his memory. Now this is a familiar sight. More than any other place, Alcatraz has had the biggest impact on our journey. You're telling me, stepping into that dark mechanism, going to the scary place, I don't even want to think about it. Don't worry, Joe, we'll be hush-hush about everything that happened in Alcatraz. Thanks, Barack. Yo, I found a cool looking hat. How do I look? Wow, Joe, it fits given only old people wear those kinds of hats anymore. I dig it, Joe. Reminds me of when Weasel saved us in Blood of the Dead. Weasel? You mean that little bird? No. That was another version of Joe who had broken the cycle previously when he was stuck in a purgatory set up by the Shadow Man. Well, thanks for the lore dump, Monty, but there's a Void Margwa headed our way. Ah, shit. That three-headed hentai monster knocked me on my ass. Well, Mr. Margwa, you have Melania beat. She only has two faces. They've got us surrounded. We need to break out of this prison. Well, hopefully this gets Donald used to prison when we get home. Just imagine, the Margwa is your bunkmate after you drop the soap. Fuck off, Barack. I know my good friend Joe is gonna pardon me. 
All right, guys, last corruption engine. Build? You mustn't let them take the last one. Send everything we've got. Yes, my lord, as you command. Shit! Keep your finger on the trigger, boys. They're sending everything. Still not enough to keep us down. Fuck! Master, I'm so sorry. I could not prevent them from capturing the corruption engine. Bill, you worthless little maggot. I am beginning to seriously regret giving you such power, since you do not know how to wield it. Well, the Apothecon army seems to be very disorganized, which is a good sign. But Bill also seems to be into being degraded by the Shadow Man, which is kind of weird. Organized or not, we're gonna take them down. Let's hit the box and get some better weaponry. Also, let's keep an eye out for shield pieces and the Keeper Protector parts. Oh shit, I got the Apothecon Servant. That's it, George, fist that alien squid gun. Well, now I'm not sure if I want it anymore. Well, it's not the Argus, but the Haymaker will do for now. So, uh... How do we go about stopping the Shadow Man, exactly? I'm afraid it'll have something to do with shooting random rocks and bones. I hope I'm wrong, though. Ooh, I got some sort of little squid in a jar. I'm gonna name him Joffrey. Uh, it's already got a name, Lil Arnie, but sure, call him Joffrey. Got a dragon shield part. Guys, we're making good progress. We should head to Nacht and- Ah, fuck! Wake up. What the fuck was that? Donald, are you okay? I, I, I don't know. I got dizzy for a second, and this sharp pain came over me, and it sounded like someone called out to me. Think it's the Shadow Man playing tricks on your mind? That wouldn't surprise me. He'll regret fucking with me, though, because I got the Thunder Gun. Oh, hey, I recognize this place. This is that building from D-Machine. Joe, you noob. This is Knock Darren Toten, the very first Zombies map. Uh. Of course I knew that, I was just joking. Well, since we're all here, we should use the death ray to give that Apothecon beast the shock of its life. Everyone grab a dragon shield too. Pull the lever, Joe. This creature is in for a bigger shock than Donald after I beat him in 2020. Into the belly of the beast, everyone. Now that was disgusting. Good job, gents. Now that you have found the Pack-a-Punch, you will stand a fighting chance against the Apothecons. George is gonna have to shoot those floating rocks so he can upgrade his Apothecon servant. Hell, papping it is just overkill, honestly. It does infinite damage against these freak bags. The Revelation's pap camo goes so hard, it really feels like our guns have been blessed with otherworldly energy. So now what do we do? You will need to summon one of our Keeper allies and perform a ritual. So, I have a question for you, Doc. You said that the presidential Zomboys exist in every universe, right? and our counterparts we met yesterday are the only ones who have the luxury of not having to deal with Element 115 Apothecons and all this other crazy shit. So why not summon other Zomboys to help us with this fight? Good question, George. If you'll recall, I stated back when you guys were stuck on the moon that in every other universe, the presidential Zomboys perished at Alcatraz. None of them lived long enough to gain the experience you all have. However, I was kind of lying. There is one other universe in which the corruption of the ether hasn't fully happened. But those guys certainly wouldn't be much help either. Why not? I mean, if they're us, then they must have the potential to be zombie slayers, like the guys we met yesterday. How do I put this? They're a strange bunch. Most of what comes out of their mouths is, as the kids would say, out of pocket. Hmm, maybe I should check up on them. Bro, what the fuck do you want? I'm kind of playing Dead Ops Arcade right now. No shot, you're actually playing Mid Ops Arcade. Yo, dude, don't start no. with that, please. What was anyway, that? Anyway, I finally got around to installing Plutonium today. You want to play some custom diner? No perk limits and just hang out. Wait a minute, this ain't how I remember diner. Whoa, where are those super fast zombie Blood players that try to kill turn. you? You're adopted. Honestly, Did you guys Donnie, see that? you're probably the adopted one. Fuck off, Shush strike. before Joe tickles your pickle. No. So, George Taylor, are you playing with us or not? Ha. Huh. You have a few screws loose if you think I'm playing with Joe's Georgina, zesty you ass. Fucking have fun, guys. Ah, uh, see, Joe? I told you he wasn't going to want to play with us. Whatever. He's just scared that I'll try to bag his cute ass and dump my. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up. You got the feeling that Dr. Monty from Blops 3. What the fuck? Joe, still Dr. with us. And he's coming. Joe, are you in here? I wanted to ask you something. Yeah. It's Dr. Monty. Oh, what Go are you away, talking you about, Joe? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that wasn't a good idea. 
The Joe of that universe seemed aware of my presence somehow and thought his wife was me. Poor Jill. Well, I guess as vast as the multiverse is, it really is just us four that can handle this endeavor. No pressure, guys. Yeah, just the entire fate of the multiverse resting on our shoulders. No biggie. Anyways, I found the last piece for the Keeper Protector. Let's build this thing. Hey, what's up, buddy? You here to help us? Joe, somehow I don't think he's up for a chat. We got to bring him to one of the jump pad thingies that has a triangular stone so he can do this stupid ritual. All right, I went ahead and checked it. It's this one. Get to doing your weird chanting thing, Keeper. Now to protect him. God, I remember how dumb this part is. Everyone thought his little dance thing was a visual glitch when Revelations came out. Yeah, this map banked on nostalgia hard. But I guess considering it's real, it had to end up that way. It does make you wonder how Treyarch designed the maps to be exactly like real world places that most mortals don't know about, unless Monty just willed it that way. Still, this place is crazy. Definitely writing about this one in my diary. Joe, you're a grown ass man. Why do you have a diary? In case my dementia ever overtakes my memories and I forget our adventures. Well, great, now I feel bad. Hey, look, the keeper dropped his mixtape. We gotta take it to Noct. Shit, more of those apothecon furries and killer bees are here. My master, with his benevolence and grace, has allowed me another chance to destroy you fools. Tear them apart, my man. <laughs> I really wish we had put the summoning key somewhere better than just sitting on a table. Watching the multiverse unravel before my eyes was not on my bucket list. It's imperative that you reclaim the summoning thingamajig ASAP. We can't let their hard work of trapping the Shadow Man in there be in vain. Wait, who are you talking about? We never found out how the Shadow Man got in there in the first place. Why, who else but your dad, Reagan, Nixon, and Kennedy? While Donald was busy controlling the ether, the Shadow Man had sent them on their own little journey. Thankfully, they realized their mistake and triumphed over him. Wow, so they turned out to be presidential zomboys in their own right. Saving us at Call of the Dead would have been enough, but defeating the Shadow Man, that's seriously impressive. Great, back at that creepy asylum again, alone. Don't worry, Joe. Nearby is an area from the Island of Despair you visited recently. There is a gift waiting there for you from a friend. Thought it might help you out. A gift? For me, you shouldn't have, Doc. It's in the corner, Joe. Monty, what is the meaning of this? You said this was a gift of a friend. You don't mean... That's right, Joe. It is a relic from your friend, Yamato. His katana? How did you get a hold of this Monty? He didn't even have it on the island. I can do lots of things, Joe. While my powers are limited currently by the Shadow Man taking control of this realm, I was able to pull this from Yamato's dimension. Figure he won't be needing it anymore, and it might give you some motivation. Yamato, you should be here with us fighting to save the universes. Your life was ended too soon, but I will carry your blade with honor and humility so that your memory and sacrifice will continue to inspire us. Thank you for this gift, my friend. You represent the very best of our American ideals. May we meet again in the next life, Yamato Fujihara. Time to cut these undead and apothecons down. May each kill bring honor to Yamato's memory. Given what you both went through on that island, I can think of nobody better to wield his katana. Thank you, Donald. That means a lot coming from you, my friend. Let's all meet up at Noct and listen to the audio reel. Still no word on their current condition. We have increased the medication, but there's not much we can hope to accomplish here. I believe the best option going forward would be to... Well, that was weird. What do you suppose that meant? No clue, but we have to now head inside the Apothecon and plug the holes with Lil Arnie's. Just remember that this will spawn Marguess, so be on your guard, everybody. Yeah, I see what you mean, Barack. Took it down, though. Let's look for more of those... Ah! What on earth? Was that the same thing you experienced, Donald? The world, it was phasing in and out before me. Sure sounds like it. You okay, Joe? Yeah. Well, let's just get this done. Maybe the gases from the monster's stomach is fucking with our brains. Look out! Papa Panzer has returned to ruin our day. You managed to kill the Panzer Soldat? I'm impressed. However, you're only delaying your inevitable death. You can keep acting like the fake news media, 
and underestimate me, Shadow Man. But don't be too shocked when I personally show up and shove a grenade down you and Bill's throats. Donald, only my master is allowed to shove things in my throat like his tentacles. Jesus, you creep. Let's just head to Kino and play the next audio reel. Play that shit. Is there really nothing you can do? We want our husbands back. Yes. How am I supposed to buy the fancy clothes without his credit card? I'm sorry. We're doing everything we can. Unfortunately, it seems like they'll never fully... That voice that sounded like Melania. Our wives must be looking for us. And that sounded like my Jill. Well, boys, the stakes have just been raised. Okay, well, now that that's done, I need to upgrade the Apothecon servant, and we need to shoot these rocks and bones. There's a couple of those floating rocks for the Apothecon servant upgrade. So, Monty, how are you and Light Brandon holding up? Honestly, if you could see just what was going on outside your realm of perception, it would blow your minds. That's the main reason I kept it back. If I were to give you an analogy, I'd describe it like this. When a duck swims on the water, you only see it glide, apparently effortlessly across the lake. But underneath, as in beneath the surface, it's a whole different story. Its legs are moving like he's pedaling a fucking bicycle up a mountain. Well, that's me right now. I am that duck. Okay, man, we get it. A simple not good would have sufficed. Guys, I got this like crazy ricocheting energy shotgun. This thing is insane. I think the Baymaker has some competition. Oh, you mean the Banshee? Yeah, it's a pretty dope gun, honestly. All right, upgraded my servant. Now to go give those bones the good suck. Well, George, I've got a bone you can give the good suck to. <laughs> God, no. That's fucking gross. Well, if Monty is that duck, then Bill is 100% that cock. Let's just shoot these rocks and bones already. George W. Bush, are you really going to risk your life on these fools when you could have ultimate power? Think. The destruction of September 11th would barely compare to the strength I could grant you. Never. Shadow Man, you must not know what true friendship is because I wouldn't trade these guys for anything in the world, especially to aid you and Bill Clinton. Damn, I'm a natural born samurai. Yamato would be proud. You know, I can bring him back. All you have to do is submit to the chaos. You too can have the powers of Dark Brandon. No way, Jack. Yamato wouldn't want me to do that. He was a hero. And you're trying to get me to betray the very things he fought and died for. Well, you've got another thing coming. We're going to destroy you once and for all. There's the skull, George. Shoot it. Are we almost done playing Dr. Frankenstein and gathering bones? Just shot the last one, everyone to knocked. All right, all the bones are gathered. Suck them up again. That body, is that Hillary? Sure looks like her. That's a bit odd, but let's bring the audio reel to the top of the mound in Origins. No, actually, don't play that audio reel. Its contents are not important. I need you four to hop on the corruption turrets, redirect their energy to Nacht. Uh, okay then. You heard the doc. There we go. Easier than winning my second term. Yay, I did it. Same here. Waiting on you now, George. Got it. Everyone to Nacht. Oh my god, a robot. Not just any robot. This is the Hillary created by Hussein we told you about. We meet again. I require your assistance. The evil entity known as Bill Clinton discarded my being here, and I want revenge. The one who calls himself Monty has explained your current situation. It is in your best interest to follow me. Well, working with Crooked Hillary was not something I planned on doing today, but fuck it, let's go, boys. Donald Trump. From the info my bill provided, in life we were mortal enemies. May we put behind any misunderstandings for the greater good. I know how much you love getting revenge. Well, I agree with you for once, Hillary. You're still alive, you wretched machine. I should have torn your circuitry to shreds before I ceased using you as my vessel. Enter the teleporter. Dr. Monty awaits. You heard the woman, everyone in. Good, you have arrived. What's going on, Monty? Seems urgent. You're damn right it is. Things have just went from worse to we're absolutely fucked. Well, spit it out, man. What's the deal? 
The deal is that the Shadow Man and Bill have grown even more powerful. Bill controls the summoning key right now and is siphoning its energy completely. With that sort of power in the hands of that sexual deviant, all of reality is at risk. Please tell us you have some genius idea to stop them. Nope, afraid not. So what then? We're just fucked. I mean, there's gotta be something we can do. Think, Monty. I've got nothing. This is his world now. The best I can do is throw some max ammos your way every now and then. Hmm. What is it, Light Brandon? Got an idea? I suppose that could work, but it's risky. What you thinking? Monty purified the darkness from my soul. But truth is, I still have a bit of power left in me. The Dark Aether's corruption isn't something you can easily get rid of. This last bit of power I have could be used to get you close enough to Bill to retrieve the key. That'd be great. But what's the catch? When I use up the last of my power, he will come to collect. What do you mean, who and collect what? I never told you all how I got my power, how exactly I became Dark Brandon. I spent more time in the Dark Aether than any mortal ever has, literal eons. And to do that, I needed strength not possible by natural means. I made a deal with the devil, a Dark Aether entity known as Cortifex the Deathless. Who dares step foot into my domain? I am Joseph Robinette Biden, 46th President of the United States. I care not about your title, you filthy red blood. How and why are you here? This is the Dark Aether, isn't it? Built a machine powered by human suffering that ensured upon my death I would arrive here. Truth is, I want revenge. And to achieve this, I need power. You are well informed for a mere mortal. However, power is a rare commodity in this realm and I do not share it freely. Why should I not destroy you here and now? Because I believe we can come to an understanding. There's something that benefits us both. You dare try to bargain with the Lord of the Dead. You have more guts than the usual sniveling red blood that has the misfortune to arrive in the dark ether. I know all about you how you rule this place with an iron fist. Uh, tell me, have you ever heard of the Keepers and the Apothecons? I am familiar with their kind. The Apothecons invaded this realm. The Shadow Man told the former ruler that they were unjustly banished to this place, but I knew better. I killed my master in cold blood and assume the mantle of ruler of the Dark Aether's armies. I met with this Shadow Man and learned we had more in common than previously thought. Why settle exploring one realm when we can conquer many? The Apothecons are permitted to exist in the Dark Aether, but they are a means to an end. Any realms devoured by them will eventually belong to me. The Shadow Man is a fool for thinking his kind can coexist with mine. Well, sounds like we can be of value to each other. I want to take down Dr. Mani, the leader of the Keepers. My plan also involves exploiting the Apothecons, leading them to their ruin. Give me the power to defy death, and I will make the multiverse bend to your knee. An interesting proposal indeed. Very well, I will give you a fraction of my power with the hope that you make good on your word. But be warned, Red Blood, this power comes at a cost. The moment your goal is complete and you no longer need my power, I will claim your soul. Of course, I agreed to these terms. I wish I hadn't, but I was so blinded by revenge that I did, disregarding the consequences. I became Dark Brandon, and the rest is history. In short, once I do this, my soul will return to the Dark Aether. Even I didn't know you had made a deal with Cortifex. I'm afraid even I can't get involved in Dark Aether affairs. Any business you had with him is strictly between you two. Joe, are you sure about this? I mean, you're talking about sacrificing yourself for us. Not just for you all, my friends, but for the entire multiverse. I can think of no better way to redeem myself. Very well. 
I wish things could have worked out different for you. You were the first Joe I came to know, and easily the most important. I know not what awaits you in the dark ether, but I hope one day you may return to the land of the living. Thanks, Doc. And other me, I want you to have these. Your aviators. Thank you, Joe. I will treasure them forever. I really wish we could have had that scoop of chocolate chocolate chip together, though. I know, me too. Make sure to eat a whole pint for the both of us when you go home. And if you ever get the chance to meet her, please tell Samantha I'm sorry for how I treated her. You betcha, Mr. President. We will never fully be able to repay you for what you're doing for us. Thank you so much. I owe you anyways. Don't worry about it. Now, there's no time to sit around crying, though, Joe. We have a multiverse to set right. I will use the remainder of my power to bring you to Bill. Get the summoning key and give him and the Shadow Man hell. All right, we're ready. You may want to stand back for this, Doc. Oh, of course. All right, here goes nothing. You must go now, quickly. At last, the time has come, Joe Biden. It seems you have failed to keep your end of the deal. And now I will claim your soul for the dark ether once and for all. Shit, Light Brandon, we can't just leave you here. Please, you must, my friends. I can't hold it open for much longer. He's right, Barry. We gotta go while we can. We'll never forget you, LB. All right, court effects, you bastard. You want my soul? It's all yours. <laughs> Your suffering will become legendary. For what I got in return, saving my friends, it'll be worth it. All right, Bill, you freaky bastard, show yourself. <laughs> oh, Donald, you poor, misguided fool. I am not something tangible that you can perceive with your mortal eyes. I have become so much more. Can you feel me stirring in the air around you? The only thing I feel right now is the overwhelming urge to shoot you. Now stop talking in riddles and show yourself. You really don't understand, do you? How my wife lost to a buffoon like you, I'll never understand. I assume you came to try and steal the summoning key from me? Well, you're out of luck. This place will become your grave, presidential zomboys. <laughs> uh, don't look now, guys, but zombies incoming. Looks like this will be a tough battle. Come on, everyone, let's show this creep just who he's messing with. We beat Bill before, we can damn sure do it again. Look, there's the summoning key. How do we get it, though? Simple, you don't. <laughs> the Cronorium. You must recite the sacred text to stop him. Nobody is better at reading the language of Lovecraftian horrors than me. Believe me, many people are saying that I'm the best. If you're so good at it, Donald, then do it instead of bragging. Donald barely has a grasp on the English language past a fourth grade level. You seriously expect me to believe he can speak Apothecon now? Yeah, I don't know, he might have a point there. I've played enough revelations to recognize the symbols for the runes of creation. Those are just what we need to get the summoning key back. I hope you're right, Donald, because Bill has the upper hand right now. Crush them, William, or else I will crush you. This is your last chance. Of course, my lord. They won't leave this place alive. All right, we've discovered the runes of creation. Now we just have to... I don't think so. Who turned out the lights? I want my mommy. I'd probably say that was Bill. And also grow a pair, Joe. This is our lives on the line. Watch out, boys. There's lightning on the floor, and Marg was all over the place. My Margwas are eager to wrap their tentacles around you and rip you in half, Barack. <laughs> Is that all you've got, Bill? We can handle anything you throw at us. Not even close, Donald. Let's see how you handle this. Oh, wow, you turned off the lights again, but this time it's purple. I'm shaking in my boots. There's void Margwas this time, and it seems the zombies are a bit more powerful. Keep your guards up. Damn, it's darker than Barack's skin here. I can barely see in front of me. Sure hope I'm hitting my shots. What? I'm not even dark-skinned, you crusty old geezer. Get your eyes checked. Focus, you two. Is that all you've got, Bill? Not at all. Donald, I know how much you love the spotlight. Let's see if you can survive in one when you're surrounded by my hordes of zombies. Well, dumbass, you forgot to turn off the low-gravity filter. I can just jump over all your bullshit. Bill, how could you make such a careless mistake? When this is all said and done, I will have to punish you severely. I'm sorry, my lord. Please don't use the tentacles again. Okay, I definitely did not need to hear that. 
Shit, things are really heating up now, guys. Watch out for the lava. Oh, when I was a youngster, I remember my brothers and I playing The Floor is Lava. Let's hope those hours of jumping from one piece of furniture to the other paid off. Shit, it's hot as hell in here. I wish I wasn't wearing this suit. I'm sweating more than when they announced I had been indicted for the fourth time. Just stay strong, Donald. He's got to be running out of shit to throw at us. Hmm. What's that saying again? If you can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Well, welcome to Hell's Kitchen, bitch. <laughs> well, Bill, you can shove that Gordon Ramsay shit where the sun don't shine, because I believe we just beat your little game. No! Look, the summoning key. Bravo, gentlemen. You actually did it. I'll get you out of there. Master, I'm so sorry. I am a weak, pathetic fool. Any punishment you decide for me would be befitting of a useless worm like myself. First, Kennedy. Now you? I knew it was a mistake to work with Democrats. You are beyond redemption, Bill. I'm sorry, my lord, but I have done a lot in your name. If you would just give me another... Holy smokes. He just devoured Bill. Ate him like he was one of my gobblegums. This is your only warning, presidential zomboys. Monty is not who he says he is. He is leading you to certain ruin. Join me before it is too late. Join the guy who's been trying to kill us. Yeah, right. Glad you're not that gullible, George. Now, I think you know what needs to be done with the summoning key. Yeah, just throw it at random objects from zombies for whatever reason. Bullseye, just nailed the clock. I got the key. All right, Joe, let's go to Shang. You gotta throw it at the focusing crystal by the pap stairs. Uh, where is it? Is that it? Good shit, Joe. Now let's head to Origins. We gotta hit the gravestone at the top of the mound. I see it. I'll take it from here. To Mob of the Dead, everyone. You gotta throw it at the poster in the jail cell, George. Got it. Donald, you take it from here. All right, there we go. Just one left, the explosive barrel in knocked. The summoning key is sufficiently charged. You are ready to take on the Shadow Man and save the multiverse once and for all. Godspeed, my friends. This is it, guys, our final and most important battle. Not just our own lives, but those of every soul and every reality is riding on us winning here today. In other words, Joe, don't hold us back. Hey, I've proven myself to be quite the formidable swordsman today. That shadow man better watch his ass before I cut him in two. I know, I was just messing around, Joe. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, buddy. All right, let's not get too mushy until we win. Everyone in the teleporter. Welcome, presidential zomboys, to your imminent deaths. I have been waiting for you. I do not think so. I will provide support to weaken this shadow man. Strike when he is vulnerable, comrades. Well, damn, Hillary, guess you're not so bad after all. Uh, guys, one of those big-ass scary panzer zombies is on me. Just be glad it's not one of those Origins panzers who can grab you with his claw. All right, the panzer in Margua is dead. Let's get that summoning key to Hillary. Here you go. Everyone shoot the hell out of the Shadow Man. Fuck you, Shadow Man. You will never devour another universe again. Pathetic. Your small arms are nothing against the full force of the Apothecons. Watch out. He's employing the same tricks that Bill tried against us. If you want any chance of defeating him, you must work together. When the opportunity presents itself, all of you should focus fire on him. Monty's right. Just stay alive, everyone, and next time we have an opening, we'll end him. You would really throw away your lives for a con man. Monty will lead you to certain ruin. No more of your lies, Shadow Man. Get ready, everyone, for a better tomorrow. Let's finish this. Truth be told, I never liked seafood, so take your calamari ass to the grave. Taste the fury of a man who brought down two towers. This is your end. No! You fools! You have no idea what you've done. We just saved the universe. That's what we did. Whoa, what happened? I don't know, but I lost my cool hat. 
You did it. No Apothecans, no Element 115, no undead. All of it gone forever. Well, ain't that swell? Don't suppose we can make my 90-plus criminal charges disappear forever, too. Donald, I think you're going to have to work that out on your own. But anyways, Dr. Monty, is it finally time to send us home? About that. You snowflakes shouldn't even still be here. You should be fading out of existence by now. What? You can't be serious. Monty, you snake. We trusted you, but you planned on killing us this whole time. I couldn't possibly allow you to live. You pose a greater threat to reality than you realize. Then what was the point of all of this? We clean up your mess and our reward is death? I'm sorry, but that is how it was supposed to go. How are you still here? Well, Doc, turns out we're a lot smarter than you think. We actually saw this coming and made sure to be one step ahead. Those blood vials. Where and how did you get them? It's quite simple, really. Oh shit, Donnie and Joe, it worked. The summoning key found you guys. You will not believe what we've had to go through to get here. I'm so happy you guys are okay. Yeah, same here. Now let's catch each other up. Not so fast, Barack. Before we do anything, look around. We're in the lab at Alcatraz. Well, what's the big deal about that? Other than being unsettling as hell, since this is blood of the dead. Yeah, I'm not following either. When are you, Sleepy Joe? Well, since I have to explain everything, as you four know by now, we're working with Dr. Monty to secure four alternate versions of ourselves. I'm sure this sounds very familiar, and there's a lot of ways this could go south. Since he seems to love your dimension so much, in the case that he tries to pull a fast one on us, we could use some sort of insurance policy. Are you suggesting what I think you are? You need our blood? Are you sure Monty would even do something like that? I mean, he's been so nice. I'm sure Primus thought the same thing. Then boom, he was eating Dr. Maxis for lunch. Look, all I'm saying is that we just collect a small sample while we're here. I'm sure there are some tools around the lab for just such a thing. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Fine, we'll do it. And that's how we managed to be one step ahead of you. You think you're so smart, don't you? That you've somehow beaten me? You have no idea what is going on here. The ramifications of just what will happen if I allow you to go home. We know enough. We don't pose any sort of threat to reality. You're the one with all the power here, not us. Now that's where you're wrong. The reason this madness exists is because of you four. What the fuck are you talking about? You're the ones who fractured the multiverse. Your souls are bound to the ether. Wherever you exist, its influence is sure to follow. Think about it. There's a reason the other versions of yourselves were also transported across the multiverse. That sort of thing doesn't happen by accident. Of course, you did as I asked. Neutralize the threats to the multiverse for me, the other yous. And not only that, you left the bodies of innocent people in your wake. People who would have lived normal lives if not for the corruption your existence has left upon reality. And due to recent unexpected developments, I'll probably have to start all over again, drop another Big Bang just to wait a few million years for the chance to get things right this time. I'm sure as hell not looking forward to doing this again with you four. I mean, I was actually starting to like these versions of you. But until I can find a way to break the cycle once and for all, I have no choice. We always have a choice. I mean, you're supposed to be all-powerful. You have no room to lecture me, Barack. You and George are the ones primarily responsible for this mess. What are you talking about? We've done everything you've asked us to and never strayed from the mission. Maybe you didn't know any better, but you unknowingly ballsed up everything. The other Barack is still out there, doing untold damage to the stability of the multiverse. What are you talking about? We found Hussein, the other me that was in Stalingrad. That's what the Cronorium told me. Newsflash! There is more than one Stalingrad! And right now, your younger self is stuck there, all because you two didn't use your brains for a second and noticed something was off about this Hussein. So no, there is no other choice, besides wiping you four from existence entirely. But I'd rather not do that. So the cycle must begin anew. No way, you can't do this to us. We won't let you erase our entire lives without putting up a fight. Donald, you seem to forget who's in charge here. Fighting back is pointless. Please, wait. Hmm? 
What could you possibly have to say to me, Joe? It won't make a difference. Oh, thank goodness. Phasing out of reality is a horrifying feeling. Now listen here, Doc. Instead of erasing us, why not send us home? Surely there's a chance things will work out. It's worth a try, right? You really want to go home that badly? Fine. I suppose that could work. But don't say I didn't warn you. This better work for your sakes. Goodbye, presidential zomboys. Wake up. Uh, my aching head. Where am I? Stay calm, Donald. You had an episode. Just open your eyes slowly. Who the fuck are you? Where the hell am I? Calm down, Donald. You're in a safe place. I'll ask again, where the hell am I? Someone's not in a good mood today. You're at the hospital, remember? Anyways, your ex-wife was here yesterday, but you missed her. Ex-wife? What are you saying? I demand you let me out of here immediately. I'm the goddamn president. Of course you are, Donald. You and your friends do love playing president. What did you just say to me? And where are Joe, George, and Barry? We just got word that they've woken up too. Did you take too much of your meds? Strange for all four of you to enter a comatose state at the same time. Is this some sort of prank? What about the zombies? The Apothecons? Is the multiverse saved? Someone's been watching too much television in the commons area, it seems. Listen, the nurse will come and see you here in a bit. We'll talk soon, and you can tell me all about these Apothecons. If you need anything else, ask for Dr. Monty, and we can schedule a follow-up meeting. Until then, stay safe, Donald. This, this can't be happening, I swear, it's all real. We beat the Shadow Man, saved the multiverse. We were supposed to go home. Joe, Barack, George, where are you guys? This isn't real. We have to get out of here, Monty tricked us. I am the President of the United States, do you hear me? Let us out of here. <laughs>